welcome to session number 31 of Outlander's Guide to Lidaria. Hi, everyone. Hello. Hello. Hey. Hey. Hello. We skipped last uh, last week, but we are back. We're gonna be resuming right where we left off, which was on a on a on a on a cliff on <laughs> hanger on a cliff. On a cliff. It was on a cliff. Uh, so let me bring made in <clears throat> a cliff made of lava. Okay, and here we are. So, uh, since it's been a long time, it's very important and important that we get a good recap. Um, oh. Yeah. Oh. I'm rotating the camera, zooming in on you, on your seat, on your purple table. Okay, okay. Uh, it is Jason's nothing fancy turn. this time, everyone. It is. Uh, I'm just doing a low stress normal recap. I'm gonna try to not take too long on this. And just, we are uh, on the downhill. We all agree <laughs> unanimously yeah. that up to a point, I think it was session twenty. Well, we 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 try hard, and then after that, we tank it as hard as we possibly can, so that the next person after us doesn't feel doesn't feel pressured or guilty. And I don't see you as the type of person to stress out, Sid. That'd be super rude. So I trust you. <laughs> I've got one or two cool ideas, but they're gonna have to wait until hey, we're back a, on a the better up. time. Okay. So uh, we started off last session by remembering something that didn't come up, but it happened before the chronology of last session. Uh, we heard about uh, a another sighting of a drow somewhere in Ladaria, or at least that's what it sounded like. Um, but anyways, we, we're setting that aside for now, and we're continuing on this quest into the jungle. Uh, first thing that happened, uh, recently Cass joined up with us, uh, Brooks friend Cassius, and we're heading on our way all together as a group to see whatever this metal thing is by the name of... <laughs> Wait, is it not Cass? Is it not Cassius or Cassius? It's Casimir. Was <laughs> it? It's Casimir. Casimir. I said Cassius. Oh my goodness, it's a different name. Casimir. Yes. That's not actually in my notes because it's from the session before. Anyway. <laughs> so yeah, uh, we're joining up to you know fight this thing, the one who stares, this metal machine that we got a pretty confusing description for. Um, so the first thing that happened last session uh, is during the night, Pontifex's Tresum went missing. Uh, we don't even know her name yet, and she's gone. <laughs> uh, but Pontifex didn't seem too worried about finding her, so we all kind of just left it at that and moved on without the cat. Uh, Talix is one of her feathers, though, so if she poofs, I guess we can know about it. So we reach the jungle, and it's like uh, just a sudden wall in the middle of the plains, like very unnatural. Uh, just this very thick vegetation all of a sudden that we have to hack our way through. Um, we manage to get through and find something of a path that we can traverse with the horse, for better or worse. Um, and we decide to uh, talk to some local birds to try to get some idea of the lay of the land. And at first we head towards this watering hole we heard about. And uh, along the way we start encountering some traps that were laid. Uh, the first one was uh, we heard a sound of screaming. And uh, it turned out to be one of these wooden skulls that we had bought from Glimmer earlier on a pike, uh, and it's like a death whistle type thing. The wind blows and we hear screams. Uh, it turns out that was a lure that seemingly the one who stares was using to lure us into a pitfall trap. Uh, so we managed to avoid that one. Talix takes the skull. Um, we continue on. Uh, I'm trying to skip the stuff that isn't like super important. Um, the first trap that we fall into is Pip's trap that he traded to Glimmer. Uh, Brooke tripped a, a rope and it swung down on a vine and chomped him. Uh, so that was pretty bad. Uh, Pontifex man manages to disassemble the trap. Uh, we look at it and we're like, oh no, the things that we traded, they're going to be used against us. 
Uh, but that manages to be okay. You know, we heal Brooke and move on. Um, Pip's, Pip finds some funny helium fruits. Uh, and then later that same night, actually, is never we're visited by some apes that give us some new information in exchange for that fruit and says that they actually saw the thing that we're looking for, the dangerous thing, to the north. So we change our heading towards that direction. Uh, then we start seeing a lot more traps. Worst of all, Pip falls into a pitfall trap. Uh, and it's poisoned. Uh, poison spikes, there's a body in it, it's very gross. Um, Tekka manages to uh, put together a thing to pull him back out of it, but then he... Even after Talix heals his wounds, he's afflicted with some sort of uh, parasite that was in the coating on the spikes. So we kind of have to stop and deal with that over a couple of days because Talix wasn't prepared to deal with diseases for some reason. Uh, and generally it's just a bad time for Pip. Uh, he kind of loses sight and maybe hallucinates for a bit and confuses Talix with his dad. But we'll see what that means. Um, further on. <laughs> oh, man. Um, we, we get to higher ground closer to the center of the jungle, and this is where things start to get really bad. Uh, we start seeing traps everywhere, and people start to get paranoid. Um, in fact, we start to go, by the sixth day, we start to go a little crazy. Um, Brooke uh, just stops talking altogether. Eka seems especially paranoid, and Talix, for some reason, suddenly very much hates his own horse. Uh, she did kind of throw us off track earlier because she thought she saw some snakes, but still, seems like a bit of an overreaction. Um, yeah, in general, uh, we're all just very on edge and paranoid, and some of us are exhausted or otherwise just not well in the head. Um, and that's whenever we finally come to this big cliff, this huge, like hundreds of feet long crescent cliff at the seemingly at the heart of the jungle, and looking over it at the bottom, we finally see the thing that we're hunting. Um, this Catman Cat, made of metal. <laughs> the one who stares. And we see it as it's whittling something out of wood. And that's pretty much where we left off. Indeed. Okay. Thank you, Jason have a um have a catman catspiration nice oh also uh, we talked to Orm and he inspired us also Talix's bird doesn't do anything all right i feel like i covered everything okay yeah <laughs> that's about it uh, if we were to, if I were to bring back the map, we could see a little bit of uh, uh, an idea of the progress we've made so far across the jungle. And this is actually day six. We kind of had to stop for one day. Mm, to save Pip's life. Damn it, Pip. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Okay, so, your group cautiously watches from a distance, hidden in a thick vegetation at the edge of the cliff. Up ahead, the machine known as the One Who Stares appears completely unaware of your presence. This construct has been built to resemble a centaur of sorts, with the lower body of a large feline, the torso of a man, and the head of a tiger. From your current position, you are to its right and slightly behind him, safely hundreds of feet away. It appears to be hard at work, whittling away at a piece of wood surrounded by weapons and broken logs. And you see as it pauses for a moment and looks off at the horizon. What would you like to do? 
Okay, so it hasn't noticed us. This could be a trap. Too simple. Too easy. There is something more. I'm sure it's surrounded by traps. Everything... Everything else has been... You were right. The entire forest just vanished before our eyes. <laughs> <laughs> it's extremely high-level illusion magic. I don't think we can climb down the cliff without being noticed. In any case, we should leave her behind. She's not worth taking a chance on right now. Wait, uh, leave who behind? Alex just kind of glances over to the side real fast to indicate Duchess. Is what? that okay with you, Duchess? Um, Duchess can only understand your speech, Pip, so she asks, what is okay? Oh, if we left you behind, if we left you here? Um, this, <clears throat> everyone can see that Duchess uh, nervously uh, just stomps with uh, one of her legs, and uh, uh, to you, Pip, she says that uh, she, she, she would be afraid to be alone. She wouldn't like to be alone, Dalex. I wouldn't like to be alone here either. I would imagine that uh, she would like to be with us. And if uh, the horse is too yeah, can... noisy, well, in all fairness, so am I. She can't be trusted. She's gonna throw us off. What do you mean, she's a horse? She's done it before. I'm sure, in, in experience, right? This is neither here nor there. What? What? <laughs> Look, how about I uh, hang back as I do uh, with Duchess? And if uh, things go poorly, then... Uh, well, we will deal with it, but... Uh, if well, we are we farther back, we it. make less noise. I might be able to make a distraction if that would help. But if I do that, then <clears throat> I don't know how long it could it could fool the one who the one who stares. But I can make an illusion of something. Maybe Glimmer? It sounds smart. Has recent dealings with Glimmer, apparently. Casimir nods and says, uh, Oh, yeah, this, this sounds like a great idea. What do you think, Brooke? And he, like, hits him with, with the elbow on his side. <clears throat> uh... I think Brooke looks at him and then looks away towards the thing. Uh, yeah, Brooke, you can see that the machine is, um, has brought its attention back to the piece of wood that it's carving and it's, it's gone back to work. Casimir just waits a few more seconds and then says, okay. <laughs> How big is this thing? Uh, the... The human part of the machine is, uh, uh, seems to just be the size of an adult man. Um, okay. Then when you, when you add together also the, uh, the mountain lion part, it's big, but uh, yeah, not massive. Yeah, it's like massive. a normal size sensor, not... Okay. It would be considered the large in D&D &D <coughs> mechanics. Mm -hmm. It's not a much bigger than any of you. It's 
So, um, clarifying question. Mm -hmm. What's the terrain like leading up to him? Is he is he higher up, like up on a He's... cliff and we're on the lower place? Uh, so both him and your group are on top of the cliff. Um and you're you're both close to the edge, but you're about uh, you're you're hundreds of feet away from him right now. It's just this little like dot in the distance. Ooh, we just have to walk. But because around, right? mm, and because the, the cliff is like slightly curved, so picture it's something like this. Uh you guys are here and you can uh hello? No. You guys are here and you can like easily see where he is. Uh with no like obstacles in the way. No trees or anything up here. Right. There are there's plenty of plants here, but it, because of the curve of the cliff you're seeing him in a in a straight line. So there is cover to go up to him if you wanted to approach. Yeah. Sort of brings up a a question for us then is like if we go through cover, there's probably more traps in there that would be more difficult to see. But if we go through here, there might be less traps, but it's also in direct line of sight of this guy if he turns. But Pip is not a battle tactician, so. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think any of us are at this point. <laughs> I have not uh, read that particular book yet. Maybe, um, I mean, I don't know. What, what are we trying to do? Are we gonna, are we trying to kill this thing? Corrupted everything that censored these woods. We have to kill it. Maybe. It's the only way to get things right. Maybe, um, maybe we could hide in the forest and then, then maybe draw him in closer with a, with a vision of glimmer? Yeah. Not to be that particular person, but uh, the last time that we were faced with a terrible creature in the woods that was causing uh, death and destruction and needed to be murdered as soon as possible, it was a person's wife. And now we are being hunted. Just not to say that the line of thought is incorrect, but uh, perhaps we're jumping to uh, assassination a bit too quickly. Where do you think those traps came from? I, I, I don't have all of the answers. I, again, I'm not saying what to do, just merely what to consider. your plan. Wherever you put this illusion, make sure we're ready to be there. How mm. far away can you make it? Well, it's something I haven't really tried before, but I think I could do it. Maybe... Uh, a hundred or so feet out? Alright. Let's get as close as we comfortably can to it. Hmm. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> I will take stealth checks from everyone. disadvantage for some of us i was gonna say like about how far away is this uh destination that we're planning to sneak to um this will be about 200 feet away from it roughly oh gee. you can get closer if you like like you can just give me a number uh, maybe we should be 301 feet away from it <laughs> <laughs> I 
was thinking to get like <clears throat> 60 feet away, but it, no, I'll just, I'll just make a No, we're going to try to like lure him to us. Oh. Yeah, we're oh. just getting a little closer to make sure that it's going to see the illusion, I think. I... In either case, I don't think there's any way for me to get out of this stealth trap. Because it's either I'm approaching or I am lying in wait, both of which are stealth checks. So <laughs> I, will just I, I am going to leave. Uh, and we're not going that far, but I am going to try to leave uh, Duchess a little ways away from where we're going. No way, that's actually pretty good. That's actually pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> that, that is good for you. Oh, thank you, Brooke. Okay. You're welcome. That's a ravage. <clears throat> Really just sense. cough loudly over the sounds of my chain mail and that means no one can hear me. <laughs> oh. Whoops. It must have been the wind. Oh no. Okay, okay. This is fine, this is fine, this is fine, this is fine, this is fine. Uh Okay. So you're all beginning to approach and uh, uh the as Talix lets go of Duchess's reins and uh, um, begins to move, uh, she is following a group. Talix will push her away. Oh. Point to the ground. <laughs> uh. Okay, Duchess stops and watches as you uh, continue moving. Um, there, there is, there comes a moment when, uh, um, it, uh, Brooke, you're the first person to see this as you're right next to him, but you notice that uh, uh, Casimir seems to, to uh, somehow lose his footing and he's like, uh, he begins to fall in the direction of the edge of the cliff, but you're really quick to just grab him and pull him back and put him on like a less, uh, on your left, so you're in between the two of them. Um, then there comes a moment when you hear a chime. Um, and it makes, it, it starts, it, it startles all of you except for Talix. Um, where are you where are you keeping the the item? Where else? Backpack. Okay, yeah. The <laughs> so the chime comes from from the backpack. Uh, and you hear it once and you stop and then uh, you no longer hear it. Didn't realize we were getting that close. Did we agree on 200 feet? That's 200 feet from the the, the one who stares. Uh -huh. That sounds good. Okay. Uh, is there a way we can still see him from here? Like, have, have we actually reached this point? Uh, you are roughly in the halfway point uh, between your original position and it. I think Pip would send Squeak invisibly out just to make sure that the one who stares is actually still there in the area. Okay. Yes, the machine still is. Alright. We need to find a good way to hide and set up an ambush. Once I do this, there's no going back, so make sure you're ready. I guess we um, just sort of find little cozy hiding places, <laughs> uh, mm -hmm. but still to where we can see uh, the cliffside. Okay. Are we doing this? <laughs> I guess we are. All right. <clears throat> um. Whew. <laughs> Pip reaches in his pouch and pulls out a little bit of fleece and he starts rubbing it gently uh, from one palm to the other. Um, 
and as he does so, he starts chanting, Ya nyarvo saros nyabarta, until uh, a little bit of wispy smoke releases from the palms of his hand and darts out towards the cliffside, um, where it, uh, sort of forming itself from the bottom of the cliff and flying up, uh, up uh, from it is the form of Glimmer um, and she flies sort of just right there before landing on the cliff and uh, in her beak is this shining uh, bit of metal construction um, like Pip is thinking like part of the, the lion creature that they had found before and uh, Glimmer puts it on the ground and starts making that chirping sound that she would make whenever she says trade, trade, <laughs> trade. Okay, how far from how far from the machine is this? Um <clears throat> what's the distance between here and hereish? Oh. Uh, a hundred and uh, eighty, seventy feet? How far from you do you want it? Uh, I can put it, I can put it anywhere up to 120 feet away from us, but I want it to be close enough to us to where we could still like, like, go for an attack if he comes like super close. Like 30 feet, so 50? Like maybe 60. Okay. All right. Okay. Wait, so you put it away from us where he's going to get there, not where we are? Um, well, would, would it be better if it was, like, around here? Like, right here? It would be better if we surrounded it before it knew. I can do that I, as long as uh, the one mm -hmm. who stares can still hear it. I don't, I know that I, I can make sounds with this, and I don't know if it specifies, like, how far away someone has to be before they don't hear it anymore. I think it can just be as loud as I want it to be. So... Yeah. Yeah, no, that works. So there? There would mm -hmm. be good? Okay. All right. So all of you see this uh, this form of uh, glimmer um, appear uh, a distance away from you, uh, right at the edge of the cliff, uh, and begin to chirp. Trade? Loud, <laughs> <laughs> loud chirp, enough, chirp. Uh, chirp chirp, loud enough that uh, the uh, machine you've been keeping an eye on um, turns its head. You can see the glow. Uh, the red eyes you've heard about, uh, um, even from this distance, even in full daylight. Uh, um, and the machine begins to pick up the items that were around it. You see it has, uh, uh, it puts around its, uh, its back uh, a composite bow and uh, a couple of spears. <clears throat> Uh, the spears being made of metal, and the bow seems to be, uh, uh, it's, it's crafted from wood, and it seems to not match the rest of its own construction. Uh, where is it, where is it? Okay. It picks up the, the item, the wooden one that it was working on, and some tools that it appeared to have, uh, uh, around it. And once it has taken everything, you see that it begins to approach. As as he begins to approach, Glimmer just sort of hops around excitedly, and uh, yeah, we'll just chirp a little bit louder. <clears throat> this, as it uh, uh, as the one who stares approaches, uh, this machine doesn't seem um, just. Actually, no, you can't see this from a distance. It's fine. Um, yeah, it's coming closer. At this point, it's about 100 feet away from you. 
Okay, yeah, while it's still gonna be out of your shot, well, uh, hmm, do you think it's, there's a chance that I'd have while it's out of your shot to cast a spell? Um, I would be using the stealth roll that you rolled for it to determine whether he, whether it, hear, it hears or not. Whatever, I would try and hope that Wimmer's voice covers it up uh, and cast plus um, at second level on everyone, everyone who isn't me. So you will all roll a d4 to any attack or save. Nice. Not a d4, yeah. Uh, while he's doing that, Pip would have Glimmer uh, reach at her bag and start laying out the, uh, just a, uh, her, her usual satchel of, of things, but it's, it's an illusion. Yep. Okay. By the time the one who stares is roughly 60 feet away from your group, uh, it stops. You see it's a, a tiger-like head turn in your general direction. Then uh, it reaches for the bow on its back and holds it and begins to back away. Okay, um, it's about how far from us? Um, it's at 60 feet when it uh, stops and begins to back away. I'm going to cast Spike Growth in the 20 foot area behind it. So that if it keeps backing up, it will enter that. As it, it covers mm, very much flown at this point. Right, right. Uh, spike Growth and Bless are both concentration. Oh crap, are they? Oh sh well, I'm guessing not casting spike growth then. Well, you could. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yeah. <clears throat> okay. Yep, I got nothing. I'm just. You said it was sixty feet away from us. Mm-hmm. It's farthest. What do we do? Brooke, what do we do? <laughs> uh, this no? machine that you've heard uh, uh, terrifying stories about uh, um, intelligent enough cruel enough uh, um, and with uh, a surprising level of adaptability able to, to place traps and understand the concept of poisons and parasites um supposedly single-handedly keeping this entire jungle from being uh, a hospitable place uh, for uh, humanoid races um, turns around and begins to run away. Hmm. Should we run after it? <laughs> uh, you see it like lean forward and it's using all of its limbs, including its arms, just to charge away from you. The speed is uh, uh, inhuman. This one is too clever. We do not chase. Or it is too skittish. It does not seem that aggressive. It is... Maybe it's trying to lead us into a trap. Can I, uh, can I make like an insight check or something on like its movements? Does it seem to be like, like, does it seem to be trying to move as fast as it possibly can, like in flea mode or in like lure mode, I guess. <laughs> okay, roll an insight check. Gonna, I'm gonna inspiration this dice. 
Ooh. Oh. Oh. Ooh. Pontifex is like not entirely sold that this thing is is the bad that you know uh, oh my god how did I do that <laughs> <laughs> incredible what <laughs> I like balance it on the thing and I'm like what is wrong you can do it you can do it oh Oh, oh, <laughs> oh. Get, get a better grip. There. Oh, oh, what? God. Okay. Ah. This this might be the issues I was a, talking about earlier. There's a 12, I guess. Let me, okay, like... Technically higher. <laughs> it, holy it keeps escaping. <laughs> Not bad dice. <laughs> Rolls like crap. <laughs> well, well, I can give you different dice if you'd like. <laughs> so the total is 12. Yeah. Okay. Uh, there are multiple factors here um, making this, to understand this kind of thing, uh, really difficult. For one, uh, based on its reaction when it saw glimmer a creature that clearly it recognizes and in its reaction when it seemed to notice that there was something going on in your direction um this machine doesn't seem to have the capability to show emotions through facial expressions so uh that the, with there being no change to to its face or to its body language that they could that you could see um understanding what it might be thinking or what it might be like is is rough um and having never seen a machine quite like it, um, it's also difficult to tell um, anything about like the speed that it's running away at. Uh, if this is trying to escape or if it's trying to lure you. Uh, but you can see, uh, at the very least, that compared to where you are, the cliff towards towards the left, towards where it's going, uh, does go slightly uphill, um, very gently. So if you were to go after it, you would still be heading towards the highest possible spot in the jungle. Hmm. Tactically speaking, it might be trying to get the higher ground. And it, you said it had a bow, right? Mm-hmm. Did it have any other, like, visible weaponry? Two spears. Just, you said ears? Spears. <laughs> oh, spears. I was like, <laughs> weaponized ears? I'm kind of <laughs> down for that. It, okay. it has two ears. It has the power to listen. I couldn't tell exactly what was going on, but I'm still not convinced that it is... It seems to just want to be alone. Uh, this is not a problem that we can just leave unaddressed, but... Uh, it seems to want to be the only creature left alive in the jungle. Well, if that were the case, it would have attacked us, would it not? If this is it's as machine as we believe already. it to be, it is likely not capable of making these strange levels of distinction. Most living things cannot think this uh, rationally, so... And if it is killing creatures, then why? most animals would not follow a lure like this. And I have not seen any bodies of people going through these woods, have you? What? What do you mean? Did you forget? I perhaps we, we have, forget. Uh, the one that Pip fell in had a, had a human body and we've also seen Wasn't a Wasn't it like animals. super old? I thought it, it was, was like, like, a few like days heavily ago. decayed, super old. Well, no? So, so wait. To I, my I memory, so it was... Why does that matter? <laughs> uh... Like, I, it, I thought that the, the body that we found in the, uh, in the spike pit or whatever that pit fell in, I thought that body was more described as like crazy old remains and not like a recent kill they weren't ancient remains if that's what you're thinking they were still like meaty parts of the bones oh i retract my earlier statement <laughs> <laughs> but in either case if we're going to deal with it then i suppose we have to do it on its terms 
That's what a lot of animals do. And that's what we can't do. So what do you propose we do? Leave? Right now we need to walk back to get the horse. We need to think of something better and try again tomorrow. Suddenly you want the horse? I think we need to take you to a specialist once we get paid. <laughs> this is a distraction. I'm taking her to the one who stares. What tomorrow, Talix? This place holds so many dangers. You plan to stay longer than. Are us. you ready to fight right now? Better to stay here, where every corner holds something nefarious that could be our end every moment. It seems like fighting is an inevitability if we are going at this the way you speak. So, if that is what we must do, then why delay? We march up there into a heavily trapped land where it's ready to shoot us down with arrows. We have just seen ambushes do not help. This is their territory. And we'll do it better next time. <laughs> Hold on. Us back to our, uh, Perhaps I can put a... A magical incantation on uh, on Brook or or perhaps Tekka, uh, the more combat capable be in it, it would make it more difficult for them to be hit with weapons and such. Uh, so maybe I I enchant them with they can seek it out. If the barrage of arrows comes, then I am sold. But uh... I'm I'm sorry, Talix. I I tried. But I don't think that the retreat is going to solve this. I believe if we leave, it only gives it more time to prepare. Well, and if I do this enchantment, though, it only lasts for a minute, so we must be swift. We can't stay here either. It knows where we are. I'm trying to figure it out. I don't understand why I'm... I have so many spell slots used. I might have forgotten to... Yeah, I don't have a single spell rest. slot used. Mine are all back. Yeah, you, you took a long rest and then you got... This was your first, like, encounter on, yeah, and, like, this is like, on the random encounter table of the while. day. So okay, you should yeah. be at full. With the two temporary hit points from, uh, from, mm -hmm. from Orm. Um, okay. Pip just sort of waves a hand and Glimmer uh, fades into the wind. And um, yeah, what were you going to say? I just, just wanted to make sure I understood what you wanted to do. Uh, if you're... I'm not sure if you're pursuing, if you're... Uh... Tekka motions to pursue. Agreed. I think if we do pursue, we should... Do it slowly. Yes, yes. I also think that could. <laughs> okay, just watching out for traps Still, and yeah. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, uh, Talix, so you you go back to get the uh, uh, Duchess's reins. She has um, only moved a couple of feet forward from from the spot where you left her, um, and she seems visibly happy at you coming back for her. Uh, you grab the reins and you begin to pull her forward, and the group uh, uh, proceeds. Uh... You're following the the cliff. You're staying near the edge. Or are you going further in? Do we want to still be in cover, or? Out of cover. You can do like a halfway point where you can kind of see that to your right there's the 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 the, the cliff and the opening below, but you're still staying in thickest uh, uh, in the thicker part of the jungle. That sounds good to me. What do you guys think? Dennis, yeah. 
<laughs> through the thick part of the jungle? S sort of, sort of through a thicker part where we have cover, but we can still see the open area. Okay. Uh, I Alex will... is not going to take the lead. <laughs> yeah, we'll take a survival check from whoever does. Uh, Tega can take the move, sure. That would be a disadvantage, but <laughs> no one stops him. Man. Pip no longer wants to be anywhere near the front. <laughs> <laughs> if we're moving through the thick of it, it's going to be well, whatever. Oh. Oops. <laughs> Well, <laughs> I don't have an inspiration dice for you. <laughs> that the... makes sense. <laughs> um, okay, so you move forward in the general direction where the one who stares uh, disappeared into. Um, the machine moved so fast that it uh, left. Uh, you were unable to see where it was uh, seconds after it ran off. Um, so you try to look for signs of, uh, uh, of the, uh, the, the trail that he might have taken and he might have left behind. Um, but for as big as this, this machine is, uh, uh, you find nothing. You have no idea if you might have uh, turned around at any point, uh, uh, climbed on a tree perhaps, or uh, left something behind, uh, uh, perhaps set up a new trap that wasn't, that wasn't ready before. There is no sign that anything has been here recently at all. But at least, uh, Tekka to you, everything is surprisingly quiet. More and more quiet and rather than build up the the paranoia for you it's fading a little bit there's actually uh, nothing that you're hearing nothing that you're seeing and um perhaps the thing just has really no interest in hurting you um your effect of madness has run out by now with no actual tra to f trail to follow, the best, uh, the next best thing you can do is to try to stick somewhat close to the edge uh, of the cliff. Every once in a while, you realize you're you're almost leaving the cover, and you uh, you push yourselves a bit more to the left, and then you continue. And there is there's moments when the sunlight uh, uh, reaches you, and you can see off in a distance, and um, hours later, you can see that to you to your right down below, there is a small river that uh, appears to be unmarked on Pontifex's map. And you're, you're struck all by the thought that you might have gone further into this jungle than anyone else before you, or at least anyone who has made it out alive, and you're currently exploring uncharted land. A few this hours one... later... Oh, go ahead. Go ahead. Yeah. This one covers their trail well. Stay on guard, but there are no creatures here. Yeah, you can carry on. Sorry. Mm -hmm. uh, Did Magnus you... only leave him, or is it also done for me? Only oh, Tekka. I see. Um, a few hours. Well, it's more like an. Yeah, it's an hour, roughly. After uh, this, um, Italix, perhaps it's the pleasantly warm sunlight shining upon you, or uh, perhaps it's just the realization that you're getting uh, close to the end of this journey, but you're starting to feel a bit more clear-headed, and you're wondering why you're not riding on Duchess's back. Uh, in fact, you're wondering why you were ever suspicious of her in the first place. Your menace effect has also run its course. As for you, Dennis, I have bad news. 
If it lasts for the whole campaign, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> Permanent cure, good treat. Permanent mad lad. Silent stoic character. <laughs> Um, Can we refer to as Mad Lad? <laughs> if you'd like. <laughs> then at this point, I just need a tech at roll. A, a, uh, nope, a dexterity saving throw. Oh, sure. <laughs> uh, I'm guessing no longer blessed though, after all this walking. Oh, no, blessed lasts a minute. Yeah. Oh, buddy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <clears throat> it's a rough day. <laughs> uh, uh, Tekka, you, this, this, this paranoia that's been gripping at your heart for, for the last uh, half a day, uh, 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 it, it's, it's nice that it's gone, but you have sort of swung at the opposite end of that, where perhaps you were a little bit uh, uh, too relaxed. Um, and no longer sufficiently on your guard uh, as all of a sudden you didn't even feel your feet t touching anything or triggering anything but all of a sudden an enormous log with metal spikes uh, uh, sticking out of it just swings down from above and into your chest and you're, you're thrown 10 feet behind oh, that's Take off! Uh, for 18 points of, of piercing damage. Tekka! <laughs> Watch log. out! <laughs> yeah, the log swings forward a little bit and then back again. And all of you at this point, you, 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 uh, you just step away from it. But uh, Tekka is on the ground. Uh, yeah, Talos is going to run up and use Cure Bones a little too. Oh boy. Oh. <laughs> Too late. Are you okay? Oh. Oh. I'll be fine. The moment you think they're gone, this jungle shows its teeth again. Maybe we should stop for a minute. For the night. What time even is it? From this specific spot that you are at right now, um, you're still close enough to the cliff where you can tell that there is still sunlight, but you're pretty sure that uh, you're about to, to run out of, of daylight. Look, it's faster than us. It knows the land, it knows where it has these traps. We're fumbling around through the dark. And a maze of booby traps with no idea what we're doing. Towards a target that knows we're coming. Ready to receive us and attack us on sight. Surely... Any other approach would beat this. We, we need to get information. We need to know where it is before... We need to scout somehow. We, we can, can fly. <laughs> I mean, yeah. You're safe in the air, aren't you? The birds are safe here. Um, yeah, I mean, sure, but we knew where it was last time and that didn't help so much. So, I mean, what do you want me to do? Fly overhead, see it, and tell it we want to talk when I see it? Yeah. 
Yes. <laughs> Are you serious? Uh, I don't joke often, but uh, I suppose if you need clarification, yes. The worst case scenario, you return to the beach. <laughs> um. But the, I would assume, unless it has some form of sensor mechanism or some such, that uh, invisibility would be adequate. He can speak whenever he's invisible, yeah? Like he's done that frequently? Yeah. 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 I mean, I think we need to get a general feel for what exactly we're trying to do here, huh? Are we, I mean, are we gonna do kill on sight mode or are we gonna try to talk to this thing? I would prefer option B before option A, but option A is not off the table. The problem has to be addressed one way or another. I just. The last time we did this, it has haunted us. I, literally. I can try and find it, but no promises. This place is laid out like a maze. Okay, the squeak could fly up above the canopy. Take a look at what you can see. Uh. I guess Squeak's objective would be, I think his his first priority would be trying to follow uh, follow the terrain to where its highest point might be. Okay. Um, so yeah. So it's not flying up, it's flying Squeak forward. Forward and up, <laughs> just trying to find like, where the highest place in this jungle might be. Okay. All right. Squeak takes off. Soon enough, he's so far that uh, um, Pip can no longer even see through its senses. Mm, um, with, uh, with my invocation i should be able oh, to oh can you do it anywhere? forever <laughs> oh never mind never mind that's right yeah. that's right um as long as we're on the same plane of existence yep yeah. um as it's it's gone uh, kazimir just gives a bit of a shrug and doesn't he he, he leans towards brook and, and uh, uh, asks him about the the talking rat but with brook not answering he, 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 the halfling just shrugs and s drops it um, the rest of you? It would need to, to stay put, though, for this, if mm -hmm. he's looking through squeak senses the whole time. Yeah. What are the rest of you doing? Uh, taking Cassius, a short rest? You, uh, you managed to track us down. <laughs> to an yeah, uncanny Cassius. degree. <laughs> I mean... <laughs> you tracked us down and caught up to us while we were making a pretty decent pace. Uh, you, you want me to try to track this thing down? I don't know. Do you have any tricks? Not with machines, but I can give it a try. Yeah, yeah, I mean, and he, like, cracks his knuckles. I can give it a try. Well, no, I don't want you walking into a death trap on your own or anything. I was... Well, just maybe thinking we could share something. Unless you really think you can be safe. Hmm. <laughs> uh, well, okay, that's what I rolled. So, um, uh, Casimir looks up at the in, in the general direction. Guess we're traveling in, um, and squints. And he scratches his, his beard and he says, Yeah, I can. I think I'd be safe. The machine was fast, but I can 
run pretty fast too. Yeah. Okay, well, you guys stay put. I'm kinda just scouting ahead. Don't go anywhere. We won't. He's gonna uh, die. <laughs> <laughs> here, I'll, I don't think we're gonna be hunted down here, so I'll light a fire. We should be able to find our way back. Or just sniff us out. Yeah, uh, whichever. <laughs> mm -hmm. Bye! Casimir <laughs> takes off. Okay. <laughs> um. <laughs> um. And Pip, roughly half an hour after Squeak has left. Um. No, oh, actually, long before that. Uh, um. Long before that, you, you see through his senses that Casimir has caught up to it. And then continued going. What? <laughs> oh yeah, wait. What? Oh, is he a monk? <laughs> wait, no, he's a blood hunter. Even while Squeak's flying? Is Squeak's flying speed uh, 60 feet? 40. Oh my goodness, what? <laughs> no, I just... <laughs> I don't remember, I'm asking. Uh, uh, it's 40 As feet. a raven it is. Um, ah, okay. What, wait, what is it right now? Is it another raven? Is it an imp? As an imp, it's 40. Okay. But, I don't know. Uh, if yeah. Squeak feels like doing it at a, a more casual pace, then he would be an imp. <laughs> <laughs> well, wait, which one is it? I don't know. Wait, I don't know, man. give me an I'm, answer! <laughs> I don't know. I guess, shouldn't, he, uh, shouldn't he be like an owl or something? It's getting kind of dark. Nope, only... only it can't be an owl. Okay. <laughs> I'm assuming it's an imp. Yes, Kazumi yeah, catches up and passes him. The imp has dark vision, right? Yes. Yeah. Um. And then eventually. How many, how many legs is Casimir wa walking on by any chance? <laughs> Six. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, and eventually. Um, Squeak spots something um, that you hadn't expected to see in this jungle so far, something you haven't seen so far in the jungle. Uh, a man-made construction. There is a, a tower built near the cliff uh, on the highest spot that uh, Squeak can see from here, um, though it looks like the majority of it has crumbled away. Um, from its general direction squeak can hear the cries of a creature in distress and it does not sound like one of those skulls that we we found it does not sound like a um hmm uh have have squeak roll a nature check okay Mm -hmm. Probably tough to tell. Nature is intelligence. Yes. It's just a straight roll. <clears throat> <laughs> okay. It doesn't sound like the screams of a person, whether uh, real or not, um, but it sounds unusually uh, almost human-like. Just not quite. Squeak would definitely go check it out. Swooping in its direction. Okay. As uh, um, as Squeak approaches the tower, he, uh, he can see that uh, uh, Casimir is also here, and he's uh, currently in the process of like circling it and just just checking around it, uh, while. Um, with with Squeak being able to fly, um, he go uh, he goes towards the tower and can hear that the 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 sound the the cries of distress are coming from the top of the tower, okay. or at least the top of what's left of the tower. Uh, can Squeak get to Casimir? Uh, yeah. Uh, he would just 
uh, fly over in his direction and just say um, quietly so that Casimir can hear. Hey, it's me. Ah, oh, what? Ah, don't oh. worry. Hey, yeah, I'm yeah. the talking rat. Yes. Okay, you sure. You hear that? Yeah. I'm you know gonna, what that is? I'm, no, do you? It sounds to me like an animal got caught in a trap, perhaps. Ah, shoot. Um, it's definitely crying in pain. No doubt about like it. sounds like it's at the top of the tower. Uh, um, why don't you hang tight and I go check it out, all right? Well, that would be a strange spot for... Uh, sure, yeah, I'll be right here. Just watch yourself, all right? It's getting dark. It's gonna... Oh, are you worried about me? Pip's gone. All right, Squeak's gone. <laughs> <laughs> Hello? Hello? <laughs> uh, okay. Squeak is going... Just flying to the top? Yep. Okay. Are there, there are, like... Are there any windows or anything on this tower? Uh, oh, you can see easily inside because it's, like, just broken. Um, ah. you, can, you, can, you can see inside from even from flying above it. Um, there is a, uh, the, the inside, so the tower is built of stone, and the inside has a circular staircase that goes up. And it's broken in multiple spots, and the majority of like one entire side of the tower is, is gone. Um, but uh, uh, still, it still reaches quite a ways up, and uh, at the very top, at the very top, Squeak finds uh, a wooden whistle. Shaped like the the head of an ape, um, and uh, also planted on a little wooden sp wooden pike. And that's what's making the noise. Right. Um, can Squeak perceive any traps in that area? Anything uh, that might trigger if someone was lured into it? Okay, Squeak can roll a perception check. Okay. And uh, as as Squeak is seeing all of this, Pip is relaying it out loud. All right, Squeak is invisible, yeah. Yes. Um, he gets a little bit closer to the whistle until he's about at, at that height. Um and looks at the area around it, uh, the stone floor or what's uh, uh, left of it. Um, it's ancient, it's covered in dust. Uh, there is there is no construction so old on a peninsula that Squeak himself has ever uh, seen before. Um, it's For a moment he, he finds himself thinking that it's, uh, it's unusual. Um, and I don't, I don't know if he would be interested in this sort of discovery. He just he just notes it, um, mm -hmm. and uh, uh, it, in the dust he can see uh, something that looks like a, the the uh, a paw print, um, and then another. There's a few in the area, uh, and as he uh, turns around, there comes a moment where uh, where. Uh, Pip's vision through Squeak ends very abruptly. Okay. <laughs> uh, Squeak? No, wait, he can't say that. <laughs> <laughs> he thinks it. <laughs> uh, he just and then scales. Squeak just, or uh, Pip snaps his fingers, trying to bring Squeak back. It's not coming back. Pip just looks up in horror at everyone else. So <laughs> what? what? Uh, Pip, it out. So it Pip actually could not relay that. Yeah, okay. I was about to say. <laughs> I was like, could you have handed one but of us? But Pip those could relay things? it if he gives one of you a uh, a token. Yeah. So. Don't give it to me. <laughs> 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 so Pip would would. Uh, get a piece of his hair, tie it in the, the stone that he got from the Lady of the Land and hand it over to, uh, to Talix. And 
relay everything that Pip saw. Uh, especially, especially emphasizing that Squeak suddenly exploded, <laughs> probably, <laughs> and and Casimir might be in danger. I saw Squeak. Must have. I saw him first, even though Squeak was invisible. I, okay, I didn't get even see anything. I mean, uh, all I saw was that that old tower and the sound, and then Squeak went down there to check it out, and just poof, gone. And Casimir was out there. Hopefully, he knew not to go inside, but we shouldn't leave him there. Well, I don't know. What do you think, Brooke? I think he starts packing his stuff to get ready to go. Okay. All right. Do you remember the direction, Pip? Um, yeah, it was that way. All right. Okay, you can all mark down a short rest. Oh, I got my spell slot back. And I'll have Pip roll a survival check. Okay. To remember the, the general direction. Okay. With Pepe doing his best to guide you, um, mainly trying to stick to, to wherever the terrain goes uphill um, in whenever in doubt, uh, you eventually make it to the tower, but by the time you do, the sun has set. Um, well, right now you're approaching the tower, and as you're um, about 200 feet away from it, 100 feet away from it, uh, Talix, your, your uh, little uh, bird machine does not chime. Um, and uh, you'd probably be the person who is uh, the most uh, um, surprised by uh by the tower's presence and appearance uh with uh, most of the atara not building permanent settlements um and the the Yevalsi not being from here um this is this is a new site to you uh it it will be something uh exciting perhaps under other, any other circumstance um all of you can hear um, these these cries uh, from they, they 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 genuinely if 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 uh, oh god if Pip hadn't told you that these were coming from a whistle uh, they they could have easily tricked you they really sound like an animal uh, in in pain. As for Casimir, I will have a perception check from everyone. Oh, that is so cool. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh, but something broke. It's fine. It's fine. Good enough. It's all broken. It's supposed to look that way. No, 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 no. Man. In an item. My rules are not hot today. Oh, I'm sorry. That was supposed to be a disadvantage. Let me roll again. I'm gonna take the lower one. No oh, god. Yep, Whatever. that one. <laughs> <laughs> None of you see any red eyes in the dark. None of you hear any sound besides the one of the whistle. No movement. 
You don't even hear um, any um, any bugs in the area. It's dreadfully quiet. Maybe this is just like the, the temple. Temple Maybe, uh, to what? The lady, the one that we found, where we met. That's very old. I have seen nothing like it. Nor have I. It's Just... from a different time. Are we ready to go in there? Asked me where he went. I Let's waste no go. time. Oh, sorry, girl. You're gonna have to wait outside again. Don't wander off. We'll be back. <clears throat> uh. Winter, is this tower that we're seeing, um, is it actually like similar to this one where like mo most of it is missing and like we can see some exposed staircase and stuff? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I guess I was about to ask you a question, but never mind. Uh, no? Okay. No, no, we're good. <laughs> All right, place your, place your minis over here. I forgot the grid. Roughly, like, in front of the circus. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I'm scared. Why are we being... Oh, oh. oh. okay. There's I might have... Wall. Yes, I might ah. have to... Alright, alright. Leave your, leave your minis, and I'll fix that. I was just gonna throw it as hard as I can at the staircase. <laughs> <laughs> I'm scared. I've been sweaty this whole session. <laughs> Paranoia getting to you? Yeah. Good. And you killed my friend again. Did I? Yes. It was all you. Okay. Quit killing my friend. Let's see if that does it. Okay, there you go. Is it possible yeah. to... Yeah. Footprints outside. See if there had been like any struggle recently. Yeah, of course. Um, uh, you can you can roll survival check to see for, to check for that. I don't buy. <laughs> I guess uh, that's no. Okay. As you're <laughs> as you're. Old. As you're checking the the the, um, the area around the the base of the circus, uh, Tekka, uh, your head turns suddenly to your right, where you spot some movement, and you see Casimir showing up with his hands up, and he says, "Ah, there you are." Hey guys. You knew we were coming. Uh, just saw you from a distance. Yep. Where were you until just now? Uh, well, I was waiting on... I had your little... Your little thing, Inside your little... Inf <laughs> yeah, yeah, go for it. Can I just give him advantage on that? I'm doing the same. Uh, sure. Or do you yeah, want okay. to roll it? How, uh, How would you help me? Yeah, I guess I'm making my... <laughs> <laughs> hey, he seems like, kind of shit. Yeah, where were you? <laughs> 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 that is a great question, Alex. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, our rules. Well, clearly he was here. I, uh, I hope we're saving the good ones for combat. <laughs> oh, that's a one. That's three natural ones and in like, how long? An hour? Like oh half an hour. <laughs> um... <laughs> As uh, Casimir just uh, laughs nervously and says, "Okay, so I, uh, this is gonna sound crazy, but like he, uh, Pip has a small invisible friend, 
<laughs> that can talk. And it was here earlier, and it, and it said to, for me to wait here, and so I waited. And then I spotted you guys, and I figured I'd wait for you. Uh, Talix, it feels like he's omitting something, but it doesn't feel like his intentions are malicious. So, what have you seen here? Did you go inside? <laughs> Uh, I haven't I haven't gone inside yet, but I have been keeping an eye in that direction. And he's pointing uh, to the right side of the tower compared to to where uh, to where you are. As uh, uh, he says, I saw them the uh, that machine that part beast part human one uh, come out of the tower and head that way. Was it carrying anything? Carrying, uh... Mm, besides weapons? No. So... Talix, you hear in your head. So is this tower just a... Just another elaborate trap? I don't think it built this. Maybe it's just where it takes shelter. But if the beast is not in there, shouldn't we go towards the beast then? Casimir, how did you hmm? track this one here? Were there tracks, broken branches? How? Uh, yeah. That the the issue is that the um, that machine seems to move really well. It seems to be built for for this kind of landscape. Uh, so there were very minimal tracks to follow, but I picked up on a few broken branches or two or two. The major issue is that it doesn't... Well, yeah. It doesn't... what? It doesn't... it's made of metal. Doesn't bleed? Yeah, it doesn't bleed. Probably, sure. Uh, yeah, I haven't tested that. Which way are we going? After the beast, or into the tower to try to learn something? Since we cannot follow anyway, it seems. Might as well learn, as you said. Scout. He's hiding something in there. I don't know if that came through. Maybe he's hiding something in there. Let us watch our step. All right. Who's volunteering to go first? <laughs> I'll I'll climb up on the side railing here and walk up that. <laughs> Tell us yeah, who's okay. like hold his stick in front of him. Make sure he's not catching any wires. Yeah, I'll follow. Here, this might help. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I'll take a perception check from, from all of you. Again. Okay. Oh, um... Can I guidance myself? Yeah, sure. Here we you go. Your, your mini was unstable, Matt. That ends wow. up character. <laughs> oh my god. Look at that guidance. Oh. I'm gonna do the same thing if that's cool. Mm -hmm. Our rolls. <laughs> the juggle's wearing us down. Really. 
Okay. It's okay. I was asking questions about the, the structure of the building. This makes sense. He's he's looking around. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, as cautious as all of you are, very slowly moving up the staircase, Tekka even avoiding the steps altogether, um, you don't spot any sign that there is uh, uh, anything uh, in terms of, of traps that have been built uh, uh, leading up to the entrance, and you cautiously uh, poke your head in. Um, with this building being so old, um, your attention for most of you snaps to the walls, where you can see uh, an ancient mural carved uh, uh, all around in the circular uh, entrance area. Um, most of it old, uh, covered in, in dust and dirt, uh, uh, but some signs of uh, what it used to depict still remain. Um, with uh, uh, move your minis, begin to move your minis a bit further in. Um, your feet don't trigger anything. Um, you don't hear any sounds of anything approaching from outside. Uh, you begin to just cautiously look around, and you can see uh, at at a first glance that what's depicted on these murals are um, creatures like the one who stares, but not made of metal. You see these centaur-like feline beings depicted, uh, but uh, visibly they don't have uh, any any cogs, any signs of uh, metal uh, bits holding their, their bodies together. They instead have fur and skin, and they have vox. Uh, what would you like to do? Oh, this is going to write this down. Uh, does the grip seem solid enough that Tekka could try to climb up this arch of the entrance? Ooh. Um, at first glance, it does seem solid, in solid enough. Uh, does Tekka have a climb speed? Uh, no, not that okay. I know. So I will ask for a check, but uh, uh, yeah. for an athletics check for it. But like based on what you can see from down here, it feels like it should hold its weight. His weight. All right. Um. Finding good uh, uh, hand holdings on this on this stone that has been weathered by time and it's become so smooth, it's quite difficult. Uh, you climb up a little bit and you slide back down. Um, perhaps this wasn't as easy as you thought it was going to be. Nope. <laughs> um, we're moving your minis. If you're moving under something, if there's a ceiling above you, you can hold it and then hold down right click and this will stick it to the to the to the floor and it should make it a little bit easier and then you can let yeah. go what is this place talix hmm. i'm not really sure but it seems that was some sort of race of intelligent beings maybe they even built this place is it entirely painted on? Are there, is, are there um, any no, it's text a, it's a, on the wall either? Well, it's not painted. It's more like a relief. Or uh, the oh, opposite it's... of that. It's a... Oh, crap. The word. Embossed. <laughs> <laughs> like, it, it doesn't come out. It's, it's, it's in the stone. Yeah, it's, it's carved into like the stone. Yeah. Yes. Gotcha. Um... As for words, uh, yes, there is text. Probably In a language Pip that <laughs> none of you can read it. Is it a language that we could recognize? Maybe not like read it or understand it, but like to. 
the the symbols, the script, uh, um, does seem to share some uh, similarity similarities to the Ezen script. Uh, hmm. So for for someone who speaks Ezen, which I think it's just Tekka, you can like recognize the occasional letter, but uh, it it's it's sufficient to just like speak it out loud, like read out loud what you're seeing in your own interpretation of it, but it doesn't mean anything. Could these have been the Nadra? Or something else? But weren't the Nahadra the ones that put the Atara here in the first place? We know they wanted to mine for metal. Well, something was here long ago and they built these structures. It could have been they just abandoned it after... Well, we're better prospects of whatever it is they were after. Or maybe it's something totally different. Uh, so you guys are hearing this, right? A whistle? Uh, oh, it's a whistle, of course. Well, never mind. I was thinking of going up and rescuing the poor thing, but I guess not. It is a rather unsettling noise. The, the murals, are they... Do they seem to be depicting some sort of story or legend? Yeah. How much time would you guys like to uh, spend looking at them? As long as I can get away with. <laughs> I mean... Would this be a suitable place to try and rest for the night, or is this, like, too uh, too much of a landmark to... I mean, we don't know if that's gonna come back here or not. We definitely don't want to be asleep in here. But it is sort of a fortifiable position. Right, I think well, it is, uh, is worth checking the above levels. <clears throat> uh, sleeping on the ground floor is one thing, but uh, if a threat is bottlenecked onto stairs, that is another another deal entirely so it could it could serve okay let me just finish trying to copy this <laughs> the speed sketch i've got to get all the text too i'm not familiar with the symbols so it's going to take a while while talix is scratching <sighs> is a is a uh scra <laughs> he's taking notes um what about the rest of the group uh, Tekka sort of like tapping the floor ahead of him with his core staff to make sure something's gonna trigger. Mm -hmm. uh, and he's gonna look under the stairs, ready. Okay. Uh, you can roll an investigation check. Casimir, I need to fix his mini. Um, but he still seems mostly interested on checking upstairs. There we go. I'd say Brooke would stand towards the exit, look outside, see if anything mm -hmm. tries to approach. Yeah, keep an eye out for... Yeah. yeah! Okay, Brooke will be on watch here on the on the staircase. A pontifex? Sorry, say that again. What would you like to do? Uh, I think he's just staying with Talek. Okay, uh, also he's studying the... a little the... funny and he's doing the sketch. Oh. I really uh, thought you guys would, like, not let me do this. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, well, I'm a historian, sort of. So, I mean, uh, maybe, like, these, these drungs, am I getting any, like... Uh, 
Do these drawings seem to reference any historical events that I know or have read about? Uh, you can also roll, you can roll a history check. Talix, do we plan on being here for a while? Is this guy uh, civil? Why do you ask? No. I was thinking I could bring Squeak back. Oh. You know, since he exploded. Also, because oh my you know gosh. What he saw. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> we can still, yeah, we can still switch games. Maybe today isn't a good game. <laughs> Let's just play Catan. Anyone for Dixon coming? <laughs> just burn me alive, please. Um, I just need a little more than an hour. Also, maybe it'd be good to hear what he knows, but we should make sure this place is safe. Oh, right. Okay. Uh, to resolve your checks, uh, Pontifex, you just haven't been on Ladaria long enough, and you have, uh, the, the expert on Ladaria is Talix, between the two of you. Uh, he's... Uh, uh, he knows the languages, he knows the history, and to you, this is... No one language. <laughs> um... This is just uh, nothing that you've ever seen before, these particular creatures, and none of the events that are depicted that you can understand seem to uh, to mean anything. But uh, all that the both of you kind of get uh, um, your attention focused on is that here and there, there are depictions of, uh, um, of clockwork-like mechanisms. Um, do you mm. see... These, these people building machines, forging machines, putting them together, and then these machines working for them. Mm. Tekka, um, it, uh, it looks to you, not directly at the end of the staircase, but more like you're checking by, uh, around this side. Uh, you notice that the, the floor is actually just, for the most part, it's covered in, in dirt. Uh, but you can see a part where the stone floor ends and the dirt just goes further in. And at first you just think that perhaps part of the floor is just missing. The, the, uh, the, the rocks that make the, they used to make it up have, have just been moved, they've fallen off. But then you, you actually realize uh, if you dig um, one foot deep just near the entrance on this side, there's actually more stairs that go downward. Uh, and you can uncover the first step and see that th there's definitely more. Uh, but the entire thing has just been covered with so much dirt that it would be, uh, you know, for one person in a reasonable, am a reasonable amount of time, it would be impossible to see where they lead. You just know that there is some kind of uh, uh, floor further down. The floor Kasimir, goes deeper, that? but it's not for us to uncover. <laughs> Wait, what? what's that? What do you mean? We do not have time to go digging for hours on end. Talus will come over and look at it. Yeah, you can also see that uh, um, uh, Tekka has just uncovered one step that was beneath dirt, uh, and it seems that there is. There could be more. There definitely Wait, whatever's is. Whatever's down there, it hasn't been exposed to the elements like the rest of this. It might be more intact. What are we here for? There'd be so many secrets down there. Not Maybe now. Maybe more of the story. Not now. If the secrets have been preserved for this long, they will be preserved after we deal with the issue at hand. 
And then we come back with the archaeologists. Oh, this will be great. Did okay, I've got about 25% of this done. <laughs> <laughs> what was that, Tekka? You said this was a temple. I, I meant it was similar to the temple in that it's an old construction from an era of well, seemingly people who don't live here anymore. I don't know that it actually is a temple. But... Definitely, I feel like it could be similarly informative to whatever the past of this peninsula is. You Which hold is... no second thoughts, do you? Second thoughts? I... I make no assumptions, but I mean, on the face of it, it's clear that this could tell us something about the past. Brooke? Mm -hmm. Further up ahead and a little bit to your left, um, you hear far away sound. So far that at first it's uh, even a little hard to tell what what you heard, but you um, it just rumbles across across the jungle, and you look in that direction and you see one of the trees falling. It hits the ground and you, you can hear it even from this distance. It's uh, hundreds of feet away at this point. <clears throat> Is it coming in our direction? Uh, well, the. Uh, you just saw one tree fall, yeah. um, but then you see another tree bend to one side, and then uh, another just being uh, just falling out of uh, you can no longer see it. And uh, each of these trees is progressively closer to your direction. Uh, I guess I will go inside. Take Casimir by his clothes and drag him towards the oh, uh, entrance. Yeah, you you walk inside and you don't even see Casimir uh, oh. at first, but then like you you look around and it seems to be uh, uh, further up on the staircase. Okay. Oh, looking All out. Right, who's close? All right, who's closest to the entrance? Then? Uh, Pontifex. Said Pontifex. Cool. <laughs> so then I'll drag him outside <laughs> and point in the direction. Where the trees are falling. And yeah, Pontifex, I'm you can see the. the <laughs> oh <laughs> my god! Too far. Um, okay. Yeah, you just see this. tree after tree falling down, bending to one side, and it's like it's almost like the jungle is opening up a path closer and closer towards you. It's heading towards us. Uh, mm -hmm. this, this kind of uh, pathway, Duchess. yes. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> here. Hey, Let's... Duchess, come here, go. <laughs> <laughs> come here. <laughs> uh, he's like waving his hands, trying to get Duchess to come over. Uh, roll a, a, an animal handling check. <laughs> Duchess, now's not the time to be stubborn. Talix told her to stay. Uh oh. <laughs> and she's staying. But <laughs> he's, he's gonna go down after and like try to physically grab her reins and pull her. In. Yeah, uh, what's your strength? Uh, not high. <laughs> Let me compare that to Duchess's here. Hmm. It's significantly lower than Duchess's for sure. <clears throat> All right, who's the next closer to the entrance? Point to fix this. Who's <laughs> this? <laughs> 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 the deal with Talix, not dealing. Brooke, you decide to go get Talix. Talix, you dragged out. Wait, let me put this away. Um, and, <laughs> and Talix is um, you, you end up dropping your quill as you were trying to draw. Uh, desperately holding on to your nose, trying not to drop your uh, drop your 
drop your journal and where Brooke is pointing you can also see uh, the, the jungle just opening up uh, trees making way uh, for something and the ground is starting to shake a little bit um, how, how far? Uh, about 100 feet away oh uh, everyone uh, get out here your your uh, bird contraption is still not chirping everyone get out here or maybe hide uh, uh, comes, which comes one is this? It? Something's coming. Something big. Uh, okay. And I will have everyone roll initiative now. <laughs> With what? <laughs> oh no. Oh, I am in danger. <laughs> I tried to work. I mean, <laughs> I tried to get this stupid horse inside, but okay. We get a chance to act by the time we see whatever this is, right? Oh, wait, is initiative at disadvantage? Uh, initiative is, a, is, a, check, a, is a check, yes. Okay, let me roll that again. Yep. There you go, yep, that's yep, better. Yep, 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 yep. Yes! <laughs> <laughs> Keep it going! I have never seen so many nat ones. Oh my this is, god! This is when we die. <laughs> <laughs> that's five nat ones? Six nat ones, I oh, think? Oh, wow. Five or we, six. This is not a good omen, guys. <laughs> Wait, how are you doing this initiative thing? Um, um it just it's update, I guess, to the workshop. Wait, is, it, is it different? It's just whenever you put it in and close the menu. Oh, that's uh, not the right number. I, <laughs> a hundred. Uh, the <laughs> injector. <am> speed. <laughs> the injector is a, a newer version. Oh, so I guess very the little cool. announcement is new. <laughs> All right, well, that's good to make sure the people are actually doing it. Without Gigantuan anything. Goliath of Death set initiative to 25. Turesque. <laughs> <laughs> Gigantic Giant of Ginormousness. Oh, uh, right, Duchess. I forgot how to <laughs> <laughs> Roll your initiative, you stupid horse. You get me killed. I thought I said the thing, but clearly I said it in the wrong place. Wait. Perfect. What? No. Casimir, stop. Casimir. No, no, this is fine. Ah, that's why. He's so far. <clears throat> no, no, no. I see, I see, I see, I see. So if I click it now. Okay, there we go. Uh, and I think this is probably that. Okay. All right. Uh, so s starting with Casimir. Uh, <laughs> like I see, he begins to make his way down. Uh. Dang he fast. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah, and as he makes his way down and says, Ah, what, 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 what's happening? What's going on? Tekka. Your Something turn. Something outside. Uh, and Dash is outside. Yeah, that was right click. Oh, wait, that didn't work. Uh, well. Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Uh, yeah, so he stands like at the top of the staircase and just holds a dodge action just in case. Okay, uh, Tekka is dodging. Brook? Mm, taking out my weapons. I don't know. Hold. Do we hide? Probably hide. Goes a few steps backwards. I'm not sure how much is it. 20? Yeah. 
towards the entrance. That's mm -hmm. the thing. Okay. Um, are you doing anything with your action or bonus action? Mm, no, not yet. Okay. What about Pontifex? Uh, about how far away is this thing that's got on coming? About a hundred feet. Uh, I'm going to try to mount Duchess. <laughs> <laughs> yes. And sp I guess spur her as hard as I can. I'm technically wearing cowboy boots. <laughs> <laughs> what? I'm wearing very fancy leather boots uh. that are made of cowboy. So okay, I'll, I'll, I'll yeah. just I'll give you another animal handling check <laughs> to see if she if, if uh, the um, if Duchess the the Duchess of all horses lets you get Can on her I back. Can I use my action to guidance myself? Uh, yeah, I think uh, I think mounting a, an animal is a healthy movement, right? Up and down. Uh, he yeah. doesn't take an action, so yeah, yeah, that you can right. you can guidance yourself. Ah, you're trying to make a wisdom saving throw for her. Or? Oh, I had, I had set a DC, but yes, you can roll okay. for her actually. Let's no, see, let's no, no, I was, I was joking. Oh, oh. Okay. Uh, uh, yeah. Uh, command. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Duchess is action. definitely putting up a fight. Um. Uh, she, she, she is Talix's. She's no one else's, and she just snorts angrily. Oh, jeez. Okay, I guess I would just have a bonus action. Uh, I, I am still on top of the horse, right? I've mounted the no, horse. She's no, you're not, not on the horse at all. Uh, she she didn't let you. Oh, okay. Wait, so did it use half my movement? No. Oh, okay. fine. Suit yourself. <laughs> He's just going to book it 20 feet. Okay. Uh, I think to actually over here. Uh, and that's it. Okay, uh, Jason, what is Duchess's uh, dexterity modifier? Zero. Okay. It's, it's ten dex. So, um. Uh, uh oh. Uh oh, uh, she's targeting me. <laughs> what was the arrow? Oh god! Oh god! Oh god! Uh, do I have it set? No. Okay. Oh, so close. I thought I had set it up properly beforehand. There we go. All right. What do we? I say return of the T Rex, but what do, what do you all say? Um, soon, a uh, sprinting out of uh, the jungle, you see uh, something that appears to be an enormous white ape. Smashing through the trees as it as it uh, runs through, um, just the bending them to one side with one arm, tearing up another, um, moving at terrifying speed. And as it comes uh, uh, within within view of you, it just roars. Uh, and now it's Duchess's uh, uh, turn. Uh. Let me refresh. <laughs> that did not, the, not, not the work. No, yeah, that's not the correct initiative. Well, I'll fix it in a moment. Wait, maybe I know why it happened. Ah, uh, you can go ahead and uh, take a turn for Duchess if you'd like. Oh. Uh. Support should be. Well. Is it okay if Talix tells her to hide? Would she would she take that off? Would she do that? Would she run? Um if Talix told her to? Uh 
Uh, Duchess is not a trained animal who understands commands, or at least not uh, uh, the uh, telling it to run. <laughs> that's the whole reason I can't move her. Uh. Stay is one thing, but like if you're if you're if you're away and just shouting at her, that's different. So she would not run. Um, I'll, I'd leave it up to a check. Another animal handling. <laughs> Is that intelligence check on Duchess's side? To, should I stand my ground with a gigantic <laughs> ape, or should I move? <laughs> move. Twenty. Okay. Um. Between Talek's shouting and something enormous coming out from, from the jungle, uh, Duchess begins to go, not in the direction that Pontifex was trying to take her in, but, yeah, this way. Uh, and she can just dash and be away from the fight. Okay. Pip? Pip is hiding. Just... Just in the corner, hiding. Uh, stealth check? Yes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, no. Mm-hmm. Um, <laughs> is, like, just trying to, to uh, push himself up against the wall, uh, make himself as small as possible. He backs away into Casimir. Uh, the two of you just ah. going. Uh, ah! Ah. Watch where you're going. Mm. <laughs> Anything oh. with your bonus action? <laughs> was that just me or everyone that? I think it was everyone. Everyone disconnected. Oh no! Wow. offline. Are you still streaming? Uh, yes. Okay. Uh, so that sounds like a Steam thing. Yep. Um. Yeah, so, oh so Pip, with his bonus action, he reaches down and grabs the uh, green shimmering rock that Granny uh, got him, and he he puts it up to his head and thinks to himself, Oh, King of Rocks, I could really use your wisdom right now. <laughs> and uh, are, are there any uh, rocks, small rocks on the ground with all the rubble and whatnot? Ah, uh, yeah, plenty. Uh, he'll... he'll think that to himself and then look down and he'll see that three of the rocks on the ground are starting to sort of wiggle and shake and he goes <gasps> as he cast improved magic stone <laughs> <laughs> okay all right that's awesome and now i i need to put this on break because i need to fix this <laughs> uh, I... so yeah we can we can take a, a short break I'm gonna be live on stream, but I'm gonna have this screen on. Combat? Well, combat. No. We're making friends Battle. with this guy. <laughs> yeah. in the jungle. I like the name of this track. Talix, it's your turn. Casting speed with animals. With a spell slot. Okay. <clears throat> Wait, 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 uh, what do you want? What do you want with us? Um, as this enormous ape um, roars, both you <clears throat> and Pip understand that uh, it, or rather she, is calling out to her child. Okay, uh, well, good. <laughs> Wait. Uh, I, right now, right now, he's just waiting at thought effects to, like, hurry up and get inside. She's, she doesn't want anything with us. She's looking for a child. Um... Do you want to do anything else with your turn? Let me, let me, let me, um, 
let me actually uh, just... Yeah, that's fine. Uh, okay. So, uh, as uh, she looks up at, at the tower, looks at you, and then roars again, just saliva spitting all, uh, all over in front of her, and she says, What did you do to him? Nothing. We haven't done anything. We've never seen him. And she's approaching you. <laughs> With obvious belligerent intentions. Well, I've already... Belligerent made. intentions? Like, yeah. Yeah. The <laughs> song we're playing is called Belligerent Jungle, and I love it. <laughs> you know, Talix, upon further review, I think I'll just stay over here. <laughs> I used my action to cast that spell, so that's... Mm -hmm. All I'm doing for right now. You can move if you'd like. No, I'm just gonna keep trying to convince her that we're not, we're not harmful. Just okay. going to grab until something terrible happens. Um, cat. Ooh, it's like a little arrow when it's people's turns. Um, Casimir is like it just like the one who stares. I'm not sure. I don't think that would get mixed up. What's that? We don't look like the one who stares. Uh, no, you don't. At uh, uh, oh, sorry. Mm -hmm. At initiative uh, count of twenty, uh, Talix, you hear a chime from your backpack. Right. Um, Casimir just else, pushes someone. his way uh, past everyone else and pokes that out and says, "Holy shit!" and like goes back. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Tekka. Uh, yeah, so Tekka just barely gets a sight of this, uh, ape from here. Um, Talix did not, like, convey what their conversation was, right? Or how have we been handling that? Child. <clears throat> That's all I really had time to say. Ooh. I'm gonna do a roll. Hold on. Nope. Okay. That, that did not work. Uh, yeah. So, <laughs> Tekka um, is just gonna step outside next to Talix. Uh, and take out his rope. That will be the end of his turn. Okay. Brooke? Uh, <clears throat> I think Brooke would also position forward next to Telex. That's it. Okay. Pontifex? I'm going to continue over this way, uh, and I guess I'm going to uh, <laughs> I'm going to cast Sanctuary on myself <laughs> as a bonus action, and then I'm going to action dodge. I guess like, try to get ready. I think I have like strong eye contact with this uh, monkey. I guess who's staring at Talix somehow. I guess I'm watching him. Uh, like ready to uh, ready to juke him. Her. Okay. Day. That's my turn. Um, she prefers uh, she her pronouns. Her. <laughs> I'm ready to juke her, assuming she can get through my magic stuff. Okay. Um, the, the giant creature is going to, um, uh, grab this tree, pull it out of the ground, uh, with oh. exceptional ease, and chuck it at the three of you. Um, so I need Brooke, Talix, and Tekka, uh, to roll a dexterity saving throw. Oh, easy. Easy. Oh, guys! Oh, wait, 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 it's a 16. 
plus eight. Wait. Wait, I don't know if you're Did it actually roll or did it just put in number that you've put? Oh I'm not sure. Like yeah, did, it, did, it did it die um, oh the die came out? Uh, yeah. Okay, okay. Yeah, okay. Uh, if it's, it's in the little like bars, then it rolled. Um I think. Okay, so I have a 22, I, 16, and... Uh, what is it? Uh, well, first of all, I added the wrong number ah. in the first place, but uh, I re-rolled with inspiration. Uh, it's a 14. Okay, where's the... Yeah. 14, you said. Mm -hmm. Um... Okay, so. That means all of you pass. Let's go. And take half damage from this. Only half dodge the tree. Half dodge. Um, okay. So each of you takes eight bludgeoning damage. Uh, as you all have avoided the the major, uh, like ma mainly the log of it, and you're just hit by various various uh, branches that uh, don't hurt as much. It's more like you're getting. Uh, it feels like you got whipped and just goes. Pshh. Oh, <laughs> yeah, sure. Special I, effects. I can't reach my health bar. And perfect. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Version. Eight, yes. Okay. Uh, it is seventeen divided by half. Um, and <clears> then <throat> this um, it comes over here. Okay, we can take Duchess um, out uh, of the initiative and just move on to to Pip, who just saw a tree fly by. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so Pip heard everything that the Armabasti said. Yes. Um, the the whistle upstairs. Did it sound like it could possibly sound like a baby Armabastu crying? Now that you think about it, and with you guys having met a bunch of uh, uh, baby Armabastus uh, a few days ago, that might be the case. Okay. So... Uh, Pip whispers in Talix's mind, Talix, the whistle! It thinks the whistle was her baby! And Pip is going to start sprinting upstairs. Okay. Um, that's it for now. Okay. Uh, ooh, spin. Talix! <clears throat> All right. Uh, Talix is going to procure the amber with the leaf of Vakanoth, hold it in front of him, and just proclaim, We are not your enemy here. We found this place the same as you. We're on your side. Going to channel divinity. And attempt to charm. The ape. DC 14, wisdom. Save. <clears throat> um. Talix, you feel that your magic does not take hold over the giant ape. Um. Perhaps. Distraught as this mother is over the the, the fate of her child, uh, she seems to shrug it off and barely hear you. Okay, go inside. Um, can't tell us to tell them to go inside and then wait here. Uh, 
Casimir also having seen the, the tree fly by. Um, uh, yeah. Okay. He follows Talix's instructions to back away. Hmm. Okay. And uh, here he is. Tekka. Yeah, I think Tekka can can I hold a move action or how does that work? Uh yeah. You can yeah, hold your yeah. movement. Tekka will move together with Brooke wherever he chooses to go. Hmm. Okay. Yeah. So Anything. Brooke. <clears throat> Forward or backward? Yeah, let's go back inside. Right here. That's it. On to fights. <clears throat> Uh, I'm going to continue moving uh, here, I guess, and try to like just get behind this rock or the this big ass stone thing. Mm -hmm. uh, and I think I I guess I'm going to ready a spell. My can um this is going to be is this uh. Mind slip. Uh, I'm going to ready mind slipper. Uh, if the monkey tries to attack someone while I can see it. Okay, noted. Then moving on to the armor bus too. Let's see. Uh uh uh. Vertical math. Uh, 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 okay. Uh, the rest of you hear the, the <laughs> tower, mainly to your left, shaking a little bit. You hear something hard slam into the stone, and Pontifex can see it uh, climbing from the outside part and onto uh, here. Okay. I suggest you all leave before the ceiling collapses. Pip? Um. So, so Pip, Pip had Squeak in here before, so mm -hmm. he would know roughly where the whistle is. Yeah, right at the top of the staircase. Like, which, like which one? <laughs> like the whole thing? Right here. Oh, oh, good. Okay. And it's currently not making any noise? It is. Oh, it is? Okay. Yeah. <clears throat> uh, then in that case, Pip would come up just this much to right at the top of the stairs and uh, yell towards uh, the mother ape and say, uh, Miss... Your baby isn't here. It's it's just a, a trap laid out by the, the gleaming creature that haunts this jungle. But it's a trap. But Pip can speak. He can as animal. Yeah. Oh, he can. He's always been able to. Yep. That's right. Yeah, you don't need to, you don't need to speak for that. Okay. Uh, roll an animal handling check. A disadvantage. Okay. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Um, 
despite uh, being able to speak her language and uh, she being able to understand you just like Talix, uh, it seems that right now she's too uh, too angry to be paying much attention to the noises you're making. Okay. Uh, then Pip will take the dodge action. All right, Talix. Professor, you might want to take cover. Everyone, uh, the one who stares is coming back. That's what that chime was. We need to be ready for him. Yeah, I am in cover. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I'm not coming in there. I understand structural integrity, and that building is already half collapsed. <laughs> the, the doorway is the strongest part of the building. Yeah, almost the, as strong as being outside. If the roof collapses... Well, <laughs> out there you need to be laying on a tree being thrown at you. This is a long conversation for six seconds. Everyone get under here. <laughs> no. <laughs> that is my entire turn. <laughs> Just arguing. <laughs> Um, okay. Uh, Casimir is dodging. Um, just gently tugging a brook, uh, uh, a boost shirt, and he says, uh, I, I, I don't like any of this. I don't like that you're ignoring me, brook. <laughs> <laughs> all day, it's been all day. <laughs> You know, this seems like a good time to uh, kind of let out some emotions. You know, I, mean, kind of work, so. I wish I could, I wish I could. I After I everything could. we've been through. <laughs> Take a... Uh, okay. <laughs> let's, let's give this a shot, I guess. <laughs> um, Tekka heads inside. He, just hearing like uh, the noise of the armor boss dude just walking on, on the walls of this tower uh, hearing Pip try to speak in armor boss dude language uh, and then looking up towards uh, this whistle at the very top not able even to see it from up here it's so uh, high up. right yeah even so he has combined the ropes with his pulley mechanism and he starts to <gasps> wind the rope connected to a hook in his hand in circular motion just woof, woof, woof. <sighs> and then tries with all his might to throw it and have it connect with the whistle uh, up on the pole Tekka you're so cool Shoot I mean, for the moon. that would be within thirty feet of range. That's that's how what? far, how long the the rope is, right? Uh, I'll give it a check. I, I, was, I would think yeah. it would be more, but in a straight line, that would. What, what is the scale of this thing? Oh wait, it's no, like, no, no. You're right. You're right. You're right. You're right. We're, we're six feet tall. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> yeah, uh, it's fifty feet. But it's probably not enough still, but we're gonna give it a shot. He'll he'll let 30, it go if 30, need be. 50. Oh yeah, no. Um uh, hmm. Yeah, if it means letting go of the rope, he'll give that a shot even regardless. Ooh, out of curiosity, does this measure like upward? Ooh. Hmm. Uh uh, nope. <laughs> That's just 25 feet horizontally. <laughs> yeah. Ah, shame. Uh, but yeah, just eyeballing it, it does seem like it would be further. So if you're also letting go of the thing and sort of like trying to knock it down, basically, uh, the, the, the whistle on the pike, uh, I would let you roll an acrobatics check, but it will be a disadvantage. Yeah, that is more than fine. That is more than fine. Two natural 20s. This is the moment. If there's uh, a time for that to happen, 
<laughs> don't, don't you have those platform things? <laughs> what? Platform things? What? Oh, oh over God. here. For flying things. These oh. Ones. oh like they the, I didn't see it. <laughs> just, just a little bag. Them. <laughs> Whoa! You know! <laughs> well, if there Nailed wasn't it. time for it! <laughs> ah! <laughs> that is just barely not enough. <laughs> <laughs> it was like an exceptionally good roll, but oh, oh I feel bad. Um, <laughs> but um, oh, what is this? Oh, thirty feet. <laughs> and then you stack them. Oh, or you don't. Oh, you wanted to? Oh, you. Oh my god! You make it taller. Okay, that's sixty yeah. feet, and so it would be seventy feet up. Um, so basically, what happens is that when you let go, um. The rope goes all the way up and <clears throat> just slightly overshoots. And so it's now dangling uh, like this on both edges. Um, and there are, one of them is almost reaching down to where Pip is. Got it. Yeah. Uh, Tekka can't do much more than that, so... <laughs> End of turn. It was, it was a really cool idea. Uh, Brooke? Hmm. I think I kind of agree with Pontifex. That Pontifex is probably better. I mean, he knows we were here anyway, right? <laughs> <laughs> the one who stares. That's, that's all that matters. <laughs> he already knows we're here, so who cares if we're outside or inside? Went the intelligence. <laughs> it's a 20 int move. Right. I have more than just bread. Alright, it's my turn. Pontifex? <laughs> uh, the monkey has not attacked me or friends, so. Mm -hmm. <laughs> From where I am, hiding behind this, this big rock thing, uh, is it within the. Oh, I guess if I was one over here for example is would i be able to like climb over it onto the stairs or would i have to go around uh climb onto this if, yeah like if i wanted to yeah is that like a feasible height or is that like too tall uh, and, and like i need to go i around? would call it a feasible height for anyone with a better strength score than yours <laughs> uh for you for you i'd make it the check Okay, but it's still, like, doable, just with a yeah. check. I see, okay. Okay, uh... Then I think he's going to... Yeah, he's going to stay where he's at. Uh, my spell is still going. Uh, I'm going to do the same thing, uh, except we know that the one who stares is coming, right? Mm-hmm. Uh, do we have a, a rough idea how far away? Less than 300 feet. <laughs> Fair enough. Uh, then I guess I will, um, I will ready a Toll the Dead um, at them. Uh, well, I guess if I see the one who stares show up, I will Toll the Dead them. Um, and I think on my turn I'm going to, because normally he carries around his, uh, his little orb and his stick. Uh, I think he's gonna like sling his stick over his back, uh, and I don't know if I can do this on the same turn. I can wait till the next turn if necessary. But he's gonna try to pull out that shield that he grabbed from <laughs> the armory way back when in Sunly Avalon. So I don't know if I can put away a weapon and un undo a shield on the same turn. If not, I can just do it next time. I think the shield takes an action specifically. Oh, does it? I'm pretty sure, like, like, um... Didn't we talk about this a while ago? Oh, we might have. Oh, yeah, you're right. Uh, if your character wants to don a shield while in combat, then it takes a full action to equip it. 
then um, I guess forget the Toll the Dead. Uh, I guess I will use my interact to put my stick away, and then I will use my action to equip my shield in that hand. Okay. Uh, that's it. Which leads to the Armabasu's turn. Um. Okay, uh, Pip uh, and Tekka mainly from your position, you're seeing, uh, um, from the ones, uh, uh, where, eh. uh, you're seeing the, uh, the, uh, the Armabatsu, the Armabatsu, um, Climbing further up the stairs, and from from where you are, the two of you in particular being beneath the, her, uh, you see uh, th there is a small pebbles, small rocks just crumbling down the further up she goes. And by the time she is like within reach of this whistle, the whole staircase that she's on collapses. Oh. Uh, so I need both Pip and Taka to roll a dexterity saving throw. All right. You should have listened to me, Mama. <laughs> <laughs> um, and as a uh, uh, rock, the breeze, and a giant ape all fall down, uh, you're both hit. Uh, but it fall in debris. This is not the damage. This is the damage. Oh. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Yeah. Rock <laughs> wall. What was that? <laughs> Everyone is. Um, fine. for twenty-four bludgeoning damage. Ah. <laughs> uh. <laughs> <laughs> okay. How much? <laughs> uh, 24. 24, yeah, building fell on you. And that's why you listen to a 500 year old frog. With 20 intelligence! <laughs> <laughs> I'm um, just saying, where, where we are, we're safe from both staircase and trees. <laughs> no, you're oh, easy to crack. <laughs> Oh, yeah, look who is closer to the giant monkey now. You or me, Talix. Checkmate. The one who stares moves 150 feet around. around. He's on you. On He's robot. already behind you. I don't know if it works on giant monkeys. You're already dead. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, Okay. Uh, all three of you are prone as well. Yeah. Uh, you're no longer hearing uh, the the whistle uh, as it's 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 been taken down along with the staircase. Uh, and Pip, uh, it's your turn. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, Pip goes. Ah. Uh, uh. <laughs> And then shakily gets to his feet and and just starts slowly stepping his way down through all of the debris and calls down to uh, the Armabastu once again, weakly going, hoo, 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 and uh, basically saying, I told you your baby's not here, but the machine that haunts this jungle is coming. And he'll always be a danger to you and your baby unless we get rid of him. So come on, help us! And is going to try and cast Animal Friendship. That doesn't work. He will try it anyway. Okay. Okay. Intelligence three or lower. Yeah, I Four, can. Yeah, yep. Um, so uh, basically, Pip is watching as the armor buster is about to just pull itself up back on her feet, and she roars back. Um, that uh, uh, 
Uh, ooh, ooh. Oh, yeah, that's true. Okay. Uh, she says, I am not afraid of the machine. Just give me back my baby. So the the staircase <laughs> broke, right? So did the whistle fall? Um, y yeah. You don't know where. Is it still making noise? No. Okay. Uh, okay. <laughs> it's just gonna step back. Talix? Um, we don't have your bloody baby! <laughs> What? Um... Oh. Let's see, uh... I don't know what to do. Look, uh, if we, if we agree to help you, can you just let us help you? <laughs> Please! We're not trying to hurt you here. We've got nothing to do with whatever you're after. I don't know what else to do. Uh, um, yeah, Talix to you, she yells back the same thing. She just says to give her a baby. All right, here, Tal Talix is gonna run up. Oh, whoop. oh, yeah, just like that. <laughs> wow, there's a, there's a somersault over the over that little wall right there. And then... This, this is the, uh, that guy in the tower is singing about Talix. And then yeah. he jumped on top of the tower in one leap. Yeah. Uh, he's gonna try to help Tekka up while casting Cure Bones. And he's gonna roll two eights. Okay. Pretty good. The yeah. 14. Wasn't there like... <coughs> yeah. There's, there's like... Uh, I, I, wow, I've gotten distracted. I was thinking of like that one Pokedex entry for Magikarp that says that it can <laughs> jump over mountains. <laughs> uh, yeah, yep. anyway. Sure. Um, Tekka, you are... Oh, can you even access your healing bar from... Yeah. Uh, yeah, no. Oh my god, what? You're down to mm -hmm. one hit point? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Listen, sticks and stones can't break bones. Can confirm. <laughs> confirm. <laughs> okay. Um, I don't think I can actually. But you can't. Uh, uh, no, I, I'd let you do it as a help action, but it takes your action. Okay. So it's. Um. Okay, here we are. Uh, speaking of help actions, uh, um, let's have Casimir actually help Tekka up to his to his feet. So he just comes over, grabs Tekka's arm, and pulls him up. Um, and it, it gets you mostly like on on all fours, but then he just like grabs you from the waist and pulls you to your feet. Uh. Um. <laughs> then he stays here. Um. Are hey, you okay? Get away! Get away! Um. And then it's your turn, Tekka. <laughs> Actually, no, you know what? Uh, you, you, yeah, um, he will step away. Uh, after, after getting you up to your feet, he, he begins to back away. And uh, uh, the, the armor bus too, um, as it's still struggling to get up from like, from beneath all the rubble, um, tries to, to, to swipe at him, uh, grab him from, from one leg. Uh, and it's prone, it has, so it has... You have a disadvantage if you're prone, right? Mm-hmm. Okay, pretty sure. Yeah, yeah. Um, 
So that misses. Um, you just see an enormous hand reach for him and try to to uh, try to punch him, uh, and Kazumi is short enough to just uh, easily duck underneath that. Uh, uh, he's but he begins to pull away. Uh, Tekka. Now um, it's your turn. Okay. Uh, so is, is, this armor bust is still laying on the stone floor. Mm -hmm. Yeah, still, still like breaking yourself free from the rubble. Okay. Yeah, I think Tega just tries to pull himself to to his feet. Still just on all fours. Um, and he just grabs hold uh, of one of the blankets from from his bag and thro thro throws it over Darmabasu's head and then just tries to get away. Uh, using step of the wind, uh, he can disengage and then move. I mean, it defeats cats. What? Blankets. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> yes. Uh, and and Tekka, you're indeed pulling away. Um, just out of the way before before the armor bus too can can't even realize what's going on. And and now uh, Talix and Casimir can see her struggling, uh, just like uh, reaching up and pulling off this blanket from her head. Uh, Brooke. Mm-hmm. <coughs> I think I will wait out here. And. Wait. <laughs> uh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's my turn. Taking the wait action. Yeah. <laughs> okay, Pontifex. Uh, okay, I guess uh, now that I uh, have my shield uh, and stuff's going. No, yeah, the, never mind. Uh, wait, can we tell which direction the, the thing is coming from? One who stares? Nope. <laughs> <laughs> um, you don't hear or see anything. You just... Only Talix said that it's coming. Ah, uh, okay. Uh, and you said that the, the whole, like, staircase inside is caved in? Uh, just the top portion, so it would just be, like, this part. Okay, and there's like nothing above that. Uh, yeah, there is nothing. Okay, oh, yeah. uh, now at least save. <laughs> <laughs> now I'm gonna. <laughs> and no, I consider safe in here. <laughs> uh, that's... Hey, what? I can't hear you over the sound of nothing. <laughs> You're too far away. What? Oh wait, the monkey is prone. Okay, I couldn't see the the token. Uh, never mind, I retreat back to where I was. <laughs> I oh, you didn't realize she was in here? Yeah. I mean, I, I I knew where I knew it was in there, but I didn't know where it was. I didn't know it was like right there, right there. Um, yeah. No, actually, I guess I'm gonna action dash. Uh, like here. Can I like get up on this railing? Uh, yes. I guess. Okay. Cool. That that's it. Uh, Tekka's messed up. Uh, I'll bonus action healing word, Tekka. Okay. Uh, heal. <clears throat> I knew I had a button for it. Uh, uh, six points of healing. Thank you. 
Goat bleat. <laughs> I'm not hearing Goat it. Goat bleat of wellness. Where, where is it? <laughs> <laughs> perfect. Perfect. Yeah, that, perfect. Oh, God. Now I'm going to have to clip that sound from the VOD. <laughs> <laughs> just, just play it. Yeah, yeah. I'm, <laughs> I'm down. Okay. Um, all right. Uh, as the mother on my bus to uh, drags herself back on her on all fours, um, is she's ten feet away from Talix, uh, which is within the range of her fist, uh, and she's gonna try to to smack him over the head. Um, that is. 27 to hit. Miss. <laughs> Perfect. Mm. For 12 <laughs> bludgeoning damage. Um, as in this blind fury, after pulling the blanket off of her head, she just reaches for the closest person. Um, and the the size and weight of these fists uh it's um it's pretty much uh it, it's almost deadly uh, it it takes the breath the breath uh, out of your lungs uh and you brace for another hit uh, there's a 16 yeah. hit i don't have my shield out so um yeah For 14 bludgeoning damage. Um, Yamabasu just comes comes a little bit closer and is like, uh, in the process of picking up uh, Talix's body. Pip, it's your turn. Ooh, okay. <laughs> uh, Pip, Pip is. I mean, he's gonna try and look for that whistle. Uh, look in the debris, see if it fell on the stairs or, or something. Uh, roll a perception check. Okay. Oh, it's a disadvantage. I gotta roll this twice. <laughs> uh-huh, okay, that's one. And here comes the other one. Okay, uh, I don't what? know why that happened. Here, try here comes the other one. <laughs> <laughs> You're rolling too fast. Uh, Pip, you have no idea what this whistle might be. Uh, it's oh. most certainly beneath some of this rubble, but it would take minutes of digging around uh, to find it, and certainly not the, the seconds that you currently have. Okay. Uh, and while you're while you're looking, at some point you just glance down and you see it is uh, uh, enormous ape uh, just slamming Talix around and then pulling him up by uh, pulling his unconscious body up by one leg. Oh. Uh, so did that take an action or no? Yes. Okay, it did. Okay, so bonus actions. Don't have much, but I'm gonna use uh, I'm gonna use my telekinetic shove um, on on the Armabas to try and pull it back away from Talix. Um, it's there a is... strength saving throw. Yeah, there is no size uh, limit for that there one, is, is there? There is not. Okay. <laughs> I uh, could do it on a terrasque. The world. <laughs> a strength saving throw? Yes. I'm sure this thing is not really strong at all. Yeah, strength probably isn't. What's the what's there. the DC? Fifteen. Um, it uh, it fails. <gasps> oh, nice. <laughs> so Pip, <clears throat> just like you can see the veins popping out of Pip's head as as he extends a, a hand forward and just. <laughs> <laughs> Um, pulling basically from one of its back legs, and in surprise, it lets go. Uh, she lets go of Talix. Um, 
and Pip, can he like step over here? Like, try and get, like, stand on this wall, rubble? Or is that too steep? I think you would try it either way. Well, um, I think that definitely calls for a check. Uh, hmm. I guess Please it would don't be. Say athletics. I no, I think it would be. A, <laughs> uh, I think it would be acrobatics because this is more about like balancing. Because uh, okay. it, 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 it's very the slope is very uh, uh, slopey. <laughs> it's very vertical. It's a slopey slope. <laughs> okay, it's a slippery slope, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Just slopey. Slope. <laughs> okay, uh, Pip. You begin to slide down um, a couple of feet, and then you catch yourself. You lean forward with your hands, and you're stable. Um, so y you're fine, but you look down, and you see just how high up you, you are. Um, <laughs> and then, yeah, that's that's scary. Um, where are you going? Just staying right there. Oh. <laughs> For now. Okay. He, he did not want to be on the ape's bad side after pulling her <laughs> away from Talix. Okay, I'll take um, uh, a death saving throw from Talix. Yep. For one success. Okay. Um, as Casimir had started to back away, uh, and he, he hears uh, noises behind him, and he sees the, the camera bus to pick up Talix, then then drop him, and um, he's not entirely sure how she ended up a bit further away from where he was, but he uh, he, he grits his teeth and sees that Talix is definitely uh, in danger, and he he looks up. He currently doesn't see Pip. He looks back. He makes eye contact <laughs> with Tekka, and says. Uh, not a word of this to anyone. Got it? He doesn't... Mm, before Tekka can say anything. Uh, Tekka, uh, you see the miniature form of Casimir begin to grow. Black fur pushes through his skin. Uh, his, uh, you see pointy ears... Uh, in a long snout, uh, he growls through fangs and jumps onto the Armabastu. Uh, as... Here we go. Uh, mm, might have to leave it on the table. Or not? I'm not sure. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, as the... Uh, now, wolf-like uh, uh, body of Casimir launches uh, himself against the armor buster and starts uh, uh, biting on her. Ah! And uh, draws blood. Yep. Uh, it'd be more like over here as uh, uh, the fight progresses and uh, Tekka you just witnessed all that. Oh, yeah, I need to keep the mini on the table. Whoops Refresh There we go uh, it's her Yeah turn. Tekka is definitely in shock seeing that unfold Plan was planning to tend to his own wounds, but also seeing Talix being, uh, yeah, just dropped to the floor, probably head first, which is not great. <laughs> um, so, yeah. Tekka will move like the wind yet again. Move to Talix's side and try to grab them in his arms, and then uh, is it half speed while carrying someone, or how yes. does that work? 
yeah, okay. So, manages to get there, holding. That is all we can do. Okay. Pontifex. Yeah, it's going poorly in there. Uh, huh? Pontifex does a... 22 hit you. Uh-oh. <laughs> uh, uh, I, mean, I feel like a little meta for shielding, but I guess if I'm going to be hit, I would have cast uh, shield anyways. It, 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 it is? Yeah, it is on a hit. Yeah, but I'm oh, not but to it a isn't... number. But uh, uh, in either case, if I was hit, I would have cast it anyways. So my AC would be 24. Damn. Yeah. Ish. So I will cast shield. Um. I'm missing uh, a which die. direction it did is. this come from? This is like a bow and arrow. Uh, yes, Pontifex, you are struck by an error, and it came out of nowhere, uh, and it pierces through your magic field and through your armor. It was an incredibly accurate shot from someone who knew exactly, uh, it, as, as if the one who stares could see just like the the one weakness in your armor, the one space in between the plates. Um, the damage is... Oh, it beats 24? Didn't I say that it was 24 to it? Wait, no, it was 22! No, you said 22. You're right! Sorry! <laughs> I was like, holy crap! No, 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 you're, you're right. It's got, like, magic ignoring arrows. <gasps> Whoops! <clears throat> <laughs> okay. It reminded me of our joking earlier. <laughs> And I can't tell what direction the arrow came uh, from. No, you can. You can. Uh, it hits. It hits your. Um, it seemed to like almost uh, um, get you, uh, but the, the uh, your reflexes saved you, uh, where your armor and shield didn't, uh, and the armor ends up just bouncing off of this field of magic that surrounds you for a moment, uh, and you. You didn't see any movement, you didn't hear anything, but now that something just went tink against your armor, you look. Uh, it was kind of on your, on your, uh, at the height of your right shoulder, but the front of your chest. Um, so the direction would be over here. Okay, okay. Yeah. Um, and as you look that way, you see two red glowing spots. Uh... Uh, I can see it, so it's not like a crazy distance away, right? It is 120 feet away. Okay, cool, cool. Um, and as you see those dots, as you see that light, they're gone. Ah, you see them like go go uh, downward, just a couple of feet, but beneath, beneath all the foliage. And you no longer see the lights. Mm. Uh, now we move on to Brooke's turn. <coughs> Did I realize uh, that? Did I understand any of that? I feel like <clears throat> Pontifex is going to shout it out. Uh, the staring one is here uh, to the cardinal direction uh, that I obviously know uh, from <laughs> Talix's side of the table. Yeah. 120 feet ish, uh, but it moved. Um. <laughs> Either Talix or Tekka shot me. I'm not sure from which chair, but over there. <laughs> um. Okay, 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 okay. Is this, uh, is this uh, the. Uh, with the way it is oriented, the north would be over here, so it's from the east. That way. Okay. Well, I don't think Brooke wants to face it by himself. 
So he goes back inside. That's all 60 feet. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> That's my turn. Okay. And Brook, you see the uh, Armabastu currently engaged in a fight with uh, a with a werewolf that is uh, uh, wearing Casimir's clothes. Ah. Huh. Um, okay. Pontifex. It's <laughs> your turn. Yeah, I'm good. What happened to this tree? Oh my gosh, I'm trying to go to the moon. I don't think that's right. Now let me change that wasn't the right at all. The measurements are like going real wacky. Yeah, I should have another five. Yeah. Uh, monk. Does this work? Uh, sorry, I have to read if this thing has size restrictions. I don't think it does. Kind of crazy. Uh, it's a size. It has a size, and you can grapple things that are a size larger than you, right? Ah, uh, yes. By default, okay. Uh, I'm going to cast uh, Earthen Grasp uh, at the monkey. Um, choose a five foot square uh, unoccupied space on the ground that I can see within range. It's a 30 foot range, so I'm going to put it, uh, I think, as close to the monkey as I can. Can't see. Uh, okay. A medium hand made from compacted soil rises there and reaches for one creature you can see within five feet. Strength saving throw. Okay, it is restrained. It is not grappled. Um, grappling. Uh, yeah, yeah, it, it would restrain fine. Even yeah, better. Yeah, because grappling. Yeah, grappling is. Okay, so this doesn't have a size limit. I could also right, restrain because if it did, it would hand. be uh, it would be too big for a medium sized hand. But I, th it, it sounds like Earth and Grass doesn't have a size restriction. Cool. That I can see. Uh, I don't actually think it's within range. I think it's farther than 30. It's like hard to tell with this perspective. Uh, let me get the measures. I don't think it's actually within range. Okay, sorry. Uh, what did you say? I don't think it's within range. Is it within 30 feet of me, the monk? I like can't measure it. Oh, table, 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 table. So, uh, no, it's 45 feet away. Okay, so scratch that. I can't do <clears throat> Man, okay. Uh, then I guess I'm going to... This one doesn't the int limit. Uh, I'm going to Tasha's Mind Whip the monkey then. Uh, that's a 90 foot range. Uh, it needs oh. to make a DC 16 int save. Three. Uh, that's a big deal. Uh, so it's going to take some damage, and it can't take a reaction till the end of its next turn. And on its next turn, it has to choose if it gets a move, an action, or a bonus action, and it only gets one of them. Nice. Uh, and it's going to take this much psychic damage. Uh, 12 points of psychic damage. Okay, 12. Got it! And that is my turn. Sorry, complicated. Uh, spellcasters. <laughs> Alright, that, yeah. that brings us to the Armabasu's turn. So, by your spell, 
It's either move action or bonus action. Yeah. Okay. Uh, you see that this thing seems to want to chase after the rest of you and begins to move and then just uh, roars and turns back and tries to smack uh, the uh, wolf-like creature that's currently biting down on her. Uh, I lost her set block. There it is. Uh, the first one misses, the second one hits. Um, okay. So the rest of you see her first uh, trying to reach with one hand uh, and uh, the, the werewolf uh, uh, dexterously and quickly moving out of the way. And then she reaches with the other and just punches him on the side and sends him flying a few feet off. Uh, and he picks himself up and, and growls and moves back uh, uh, into, into close range. Uh, and as that battle <laughs> ranges on, Pip, Kay. Uh... you only hear... All of this. You're hearing growling. Uh, you're hearing uh, what definitely sounds like a wolf, but you can't understand what uh, uh, its its sounds mean, which has happened it to you before. Interesting. Um, can Pip get to a point here where he can uh, sort of crawl or climb right back up just to where he can see through the... Uh, through the space between the staircase yeah, and the like broken di stone. Yeah, like diagonally here. Right. Mm -hmm. um, and, and so he sure enough, <laughs> <laughs> there's a werewolf that's fighting the Armabastu. Okay then. It's not a white werewolf. Uh huh. Uh huh. Well, that's good. It doesn't guess... have gemstones poking out of its body. I guess those two fighting is fine. <laughs> um, but Pip will try and make it to where uh, the ape can't get to his friends. And so he points his finger over towards this space over here and uses Create Bonfire uh, to make a five-foot cube of fire sort of erupt in that space, enough to where his friends could get through if they needed to, but the ape would have a hard time getting through there. Okay. Yeah, all right. <clears throat> Anything else? Without taking damage. Uh, that's it for now, yeah. <laughs> uh, Talix? I'll take another death saving throw. For a failure. Casimir. Mm. Mm, wait, oh, that's a hit. They're both hits. The werewolf claws and bites and spits out a chunk of fur. <clears throat> uh, the white fur of the Armabastu is uh, uh, stained red with blood as the two of them keep on fighting. Taka! Oops. <clears throat> Sin? Sorry, forgot to unmute. My, my mistake. Um, oh, you're fine. Yeah, this is so tough. Mm. I guess Tekka will just bring Talix to the wall over here and then try to stabilize him. If that's possible. Um, that is, that will be a medicine check. Yeah. I do. Oh boy, here we go. Oh no! Uh, I am gonna do oh. an inspiration on that. Come on. Oh, it's doing the 
funky thing again. Uh, just let it go and pick it back up. Okay. Um, you apply apply pressure on Talix's wounds, and you make sure that he's still breathing, and you uh, prop him up in a in a comfortable position. And uh, well, he's not awake, but uh, uh, you think you got the situation somewhat under control. Uh, Talix <coughs> was stabilized. Sure. Uh. I don't know what to do in this situation. <laughs> I don't know, man. I feel like I'm kind of screwed. <laughs> uh <-huh. laughs> um, would it be possible to give Talix the healing potion while not being conscious, or is that asking too much? Um, that is allowed. Uh. The, uh, generally, drinking a potion or feeding it to someone else requires an action. I would just let you do that over the, in, like, instead of the medi medicine check. Uh, if that's, because that's, you don't, you don't need, if you feed him the potion, you don't, you don't need to stabilize him to begin with. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So, then like, we'll everything I described it. still happens. Uh, yes. Uh, in terms of flavor, but you get, you can take your die back. Uh, um, and, you know, trying to wake him up eventually, sort of like pop open the bottle, um, wave, it, uh, wave it under his nose, sort of like smelling salts. And uh, I, as he opens his eyes, he just like bring it up to his lips. Oh, it was a big healing potion? Like normal? Huh. Yeah, it was a greater one. Okay, oh yeah, cool. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> that's fine. Uh... And Talix, you're... <sighs> you're awake. Oh. This is not over. This is really bad, Talix. We need you up. What's the situation? <laughs> and Talix, you look to your right and there's, um, there's a werewolf fighting the Armabastu. Oh, well, there he is. <laughs> That's your first reaction. <laughs> oh, there he is. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Wait, what about? <clears throat> Turn to look outside. Um. Well, you can see Pontifex. Mm. Yeah. yeah. <clears throat> Hello. Yellow. <laughs> and <you're> just <laughs> <clears throat> yeah, I don't think take it with a time for anything else, so... And Pontifex has an arrow sticking out of him, right? Um, uh, no. Nope. It's on the ground. Okay. But Talix, for the, for the second time in your life... Oh, that's uh, right. She, yeah. uh, for the second time in your life, you remember uh, what it was most likely a, a dream. And we'll go over that later. Mm -hmm. Uh, all right. As for this... Brooke, it's your turn. <clears throat> okay. Well, that's ominous. Then I'll get closer. Bonus action to uh, do the Crimson Ride with the uh, Radiant one. And then I'll attack. Oh. Hmm. 
Or I'll try to attack at least. Sure. <laughs> Does a 19 hit? 19 does it. Cool. Yeah. Uh, I think that's 13 slashing and one radiant. And I don't think I can take it second time, right? Is that a bonus action? Your, your second no. attack? No, no, it's not. All right, I'll attack again. Level five, baby. <laughs> well... Oh. <laughs> I don't <Wow>. think that is. <laughs> <laughs> but it's 14 damage. How okay. many natural ones is that this game? For me, it's the second one. <laughs> <laughs> I think we're up to eight or nine now. Um, Brooke, you bring, you bring down your weapon and it shines with light as you open up a large wound on one of the, the Armabastu's arms um, that just crackles with light uh, and as you go for the second swing she she um, she, she uh, turns towards the left spins a little bit and ends up just slamming one arm against you and throwing you off balance uh, Matt I need you to wait 10 seconds I left my water in the kitchen and I am parched I'm just gonna go <laughs> get it alright what do we do guys what do we do I I well, I really don't like her burning all of her resources against the thing that I, I know. <laughs> so, yeah, speaking of burning resources, I actually forgot that I cast Sanctuary early, so I don't even know if I would have had to use a shield because I don't know if it would have hit, unless she remembered and happened to roll for Sanctuary. But I don't think so. I don't think so. Um. Hello. Hello. Yo. Hey. Well, I had a question. Um, because I forgot I did this. Uh, I cast Sanctuary on myself a little bit earlier. When mm -hmm. the one who stares shot an arrow at me, did it make a Sanctuary save? A wisdom saving throw, yes. Okay, it did. I did. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Uh, and then I am going... Everyone is up, right? Where's Pip? He's on the other side of the building? Yeah, nobody can see Pip right now. <laughs> oh, okay, we can't see him. Okay. Uh, I'm going to move. Uh, and you see his signature green fire, though. Uh, Don't touch that stuff. <laughs> this this spoopy green fire on the ground. Uh, and then I'm just going to toll the dead the monkey. Okay. It is damaged. Uh, okay, it failed the wisdom. No, I haven't rolled. I'm just saying it, oh, it is damaged. Oh, it's a DC it's 16 a... wisdom save. Ah, uh, she passes. Oh, okay. Uh, then that is my turn. <clears throat> this dang goat bleed is not working. <laughs> uh, where are we at here? Nope. Wrong stat block. This one. Okay. The Armabasu tries to punch Brook and Casimir. Uh, Brook, that is uh, a dirty 20 to hit. Yep. And 21 on Casimir. Where is Casimir, roughly? Like on which side of the. 
AP. Of the I don't AP? see a mini. Is there a mini? You don't see the mini? No, nope. I don't. Wait, nobody sees the mini? Mm -mm. No. What? Oh! Oh, I'm I sorry. didn't know that none of you were seeing it as a mini. <laughs> I'm sure it's very good. But well, it's, it's, I mean. <laughs> is it broken? You can see it in the stream. No, it's not broken. Let me just bring it. To, let me see if this works. Where's my last stop? I'm sorry. I've caused distraction. <laughs> Thanks, Austin. I'm so sorry. <laughs> it's like that that quote from Thomas the Train. You know that show? Do you see the, it now? The conductor says, "No, I don't." No. The what? conductor says, "Thomas, you've caused confusion and delay." That's me. Ah, into the bag, out of the bag. Nothing, still nothing. Nope. That's strange. Wait. It's not even a spear. Oh my god, I know why. No way. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Um, I think so. Hold on. Right click. Ah. Oh. Okay. Here you go. Hmm. Oh. Uh, sorry great. about that. I thought I hid his uh, health bar like I do for all enemies, and instead I hid the model. Oh. Cool. I was wondering. Uh, like you're the the you were saying the <laughs> wolf biting him, and I was like, I wonder where he is. <laughs> like a theater of the mind hybrid going I'm on. I'm so sorry. <laughs> okay, Brooke. You take 16 points of bludgeoning damage. Ooh. And Kazimir takes that many. Um. Okay. Uh. Mm. Yep, this is the situation here. Pip. Uh, Pip hates to have to hurt this girl, but uh, she's just she's just on a rampage, and I I guess this is what we gotta do. So Pip is just gonna uh. Chuck one of his magic rocks at her. Uh. Chuck it. I'm chucking. Here I go. Twenty-one hits. Improved pebble. Improved pebble. The subjects of the King of Rocks. <laughs> they heed his word. 11 damage? Yes. What kind is it again? Is it just. Mm, just magical bludgeoning. Okay. And Pip is just gonna stay put. Why did I write this number on my board? All right, Talix. Um, Talix looks up and notices the lack of Pip. He was going to go up there to to get Pip. Mm. It would be worrying if he didn't like. Due to the fact that everything collapsed here, and you knew that Pip was somewhere on those stairs, but you did see uh, a pebble get chucked at the Yamabastu just now. Okay, fair enough. Oh, uh, I really think maybe we should just run away. Ha 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 ha! 
God. I wouldn't go out there if I. <laughs> hey, it's oh staring at the stairs, but okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, not like Talix can really do anything against this anyways. Um, I don't know. Uh, can't do anything here. Um, I guess Talix will cast Bless on, uh, on Brooke, Casimir, and Tekka. Okay. And that is it. Um, alright. I'm gonna need a moment to figure this out. Uh uh, cause this is a bless effects saving throws. Okay. Attack rolls. Yeah, no, it, it's the saving throw I need right now. Um. Okay. Uh. Brooke. You see the, the werewolf on your side make eye contact with you for a moment. Um, and this a, a chill runs down your spine. Um, you've been fighting side by side with this thing for a few seconds now, but uh, uh, for, for this one moment, uh, it feels like you're looking at the eyes of a hungry and... Uh, um, and the uh, hostile beast for just that one moment and then the werewolf moves uh, um gets around uh, the enormous arm buster and strikes her well tries to um Okay. Um. <laughs> Fine. All right. Uh, Br Brooke. Mm -hmm. The uh, the werewolf um, sinks his own claws into one of his arms and draws blood, and then with that same. Um, a blood-stained claw um, leaps onto the armabastu and uh, sinks them deep into her back uh, for a critical hit that then crackles with lining energy. Oh, Jesus, not this much. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Um, and the, the blow was near the, it was on her back, near the base of her back. Uh, and when he, when he pulls away from her, uh, blood is, uh, uh, the wound is spitting out blood. Uh, and this, this mother Armabastu, uh, seems to be barely holding on. Tekka. Uh yeah, what 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 do we do? What do we do with this situation? <sighs> also you should be over here. Yeah. There we go. This is a bad move. Okay. Well, we're here, I guess. <laughs> Tech is gonna try striking her. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's not not great. All right, here we go. Mm. 
Okay. Take Deadlands. Lens. Dead lens. Okay. Would you like for this to me to be immortal, Blow? No. Okay. Tekka is going to land a stunning strike. Uh, it will need to roll a constitution save. I have a dirty 20. Okay, well, that didn't work. That's a shame. <laughs> uh, yeah, I guess just non-lethal damage, if that's possible, then. Mm-hmm. Right. Is this with the staff? Yeah, it's just the core staff. Not, not yeah. the pants. You can, you can hold back. Uh, yeah, this this was down to uh, two hit points. So, so um, <coughs> the enormous form of uh, the armor bus to uh, collapses next to you, breathing still, uh, but you know, as she hits the ground, dust is lifted all around you. We're going to stay in combat. Ah, in initiative order. order. Um, so, uh, w what else would you like to do on your turn? Not, nothing more. <sighs> I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Alex. So she's down? Yes. Um, yeah. Uh, Alex, this is a 23 to hit you. Uh huh. The, uh, I wouldn't go up, you know, uh, 20 and the I drow is just like, he was well, here. goodbye now. And then um, it's like, no oh, idea. welcome back. <laughs> <laughs> For 20 piercing damage. Yep. Um, as right as there is a mm. moment of, of quiet and silence, no more movements, uh, uh, no more fighting within the tower. The rest of you hear, and then toom. As Talix's body hits the ground uh, with an arrow um, piercing his back. Uh, and then. What good is a shield on your back if it does not protect your back from arrows? <laughs> it is an illogical place. <laughs> Yeah, how does this, how does this 100 pound backpack not stop the blow? <laughs> <laughs> How many objects in your backpack just got skewered? <laughs> uh, where is it? Here it is. Okay. Brook. <clears throat> I've got Talix just get out of the doorway. Okay. Or, or move his body if it's convenient. Let's see how far is that? Um... 20, 25. Why do I hear oh. boss music? <laughs> <laughs> Relentless enemy. I don't think I can actually move him. I can get to him and that's... Uh... 10, 20, 30. You can get ne next to him. Yeah, but then I can't drag him out, right? Um... Yeah. You do... Uh, yeah, um... Picking someone up is usually an action, it's in like grappling and such. So yes, you wouldn't be able to to dash, so you'd be out of movement. You can just you can just pick him up. Nah. <laughs> uh, he will be fine. <laughs> yeah, he'll be fine. <laughs> I got him. Don't worry about it. Just get out of the doorway. Uh, then I will probably look at Casimir, see if he's still looking hostile. 
And then back off. In <laughs> feed. And drink a health pot. Of greater healing. Okay. Uh, <laughs> 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 what, what is that? <laughs> it's just some death throws, it's fine. <laughs> it was unplanned, it was unplanned. Stands up, does the can can, and goes back. This scared the crap out of me. Alright. Do I see any hostility? Or would that be a check? Eh, uh, um, uh, sure, roll a perception check. Bless is <laughs> out now. Oh, I forgot. Um, I had... Uh, Bless doesn't do anything with checks. No, 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 but I need it. <laughs> oh. oh, it ran out, I see. Well, uh, well, uh, Making a, a rational judgment right now is a little difficult. Um, I, I, in the heat of the moment, with the, with the danger not fully gone, all you know is that there is a beast in front of you that looks that there's a werewolf and has fangs and claws dripping with blood, and it is terrifying. And you wouldn't trust it to begin with. All right. Hey, bourgeois. Okay. I think I still have a little bit of movement, right? You're twenty-five. Roughly, yeah, That's I think my so. Turn. Okay. That's my turn. Pontifex? Uh, I am going to uh, Healing Word, uh, Talix. Uh, and this is going to be at second level. Okay. For this. Talix, um, you can recover those uh, seven hit points, but um, as you feel yourself teetering really close uh, uh, on that on that line between life and death, uh, um, your your body is beginning to give out. Uh, you gain a point of exhaustion. Yep. Uh, Pontifex, what else? Uh, and then, uh, which of these spaces are you actually in? Uh, he was in the middle of the doorway earlier, so let's just just pick one. Does it matter? Uh, probably. There's like a wall here, so I can't be. Uh, you gotta like drag it like down here, you know, like where there's open area, and then your menu will come down, and then you can scoot. Oh, it I know. I I realize that. I'm saying like right. I so can't there's be... a, there's a step. Um... I don't know if I can be here. Oh, I see. Okay. Well, in either case, I I have 20 feet of movement, uh, and I'm wanting to to step, I guess, to here, uh, grapple him, and then pull him back. Okay, you're doing water, which is a bonus action. So yeah, you, you grab him and you pull him, and you have like uh, uh, since it's healthy, it's healthy movement when you're dragging him. Uh, like twice uh, your so movement. So like here. Uh, from here to here, it would just be those uh, those five feet. Because you, you uh, spent you spent five to move oh, forward, no, he, right? He was in this, so I had to spend five to get yeah. you to grab him. You grab him, and then you move ten. At twice the moment, then you have five more to go, which you can't oh, take. Oh, I only have five more feet. I see, I see. Uh, uh, that's all I got. <laughs> I'm gonna let go and, and scoot. Uh, oh, uh, <laughs> uh, that's my turn. Pip? Oh, all right. Uh, <laughs> so Pip saw Talix get shot. Um, I think Pip at this point is going to cause the flames to uh, to die out in that space and instead shift them over to the front of the doorway just to try and block as much line of sight from more arrows as possible. Uh, ah. <laughs> yeah, okay. Square uh, feet cube. Then, yeah. <laughs> and then Pip will climb back up onto the stairs and start heading down. Uh, 
That's it. Talix? <sighs> Talix will just kind of slump against the wall here. Well... Now what? Well, it is out there watching. As I'm sure you noticed. He's perhaps staring, you might say. And if this <laughs> is mechanical, it likely has no reason to stop. It will just outlast us. We stay here. I have uh, some contingencies in place. I could perhaps uh, go out and draw the fire and give you all an opportunity, but I'm not entirely sure where it is. I don't think we can outrun it. We have to try to stay here. So we block the door? Not anything. We have a gigantic corpse that is a pretty good doorstop. <laughs> <clears throat> um, any action you'd like to take for your turn, Talix? Jason? Not, not yet. Oh, okay. I, I, I didn't hear. He didn't come through. Okay. So... Let's just resolve this. Um, okay. Uh, Tekka, the werewolf, um, takes a step towards you. The two of you make eye contact. And for a moment, uh, you two, you're reminded you're standing next to a, a bloodthirsty beast who glances at you up and down. You almost feel like he's... Uh, you're about to become its next meal and uh, you see him shake his head and uh, run um Biff, <laughs> uh -huh. uh, give me the damage for that <laughs> okay <laughs> sorry Casimir um nine Uh, which is fire. No, that is not how math works. <laughs> Got it. Uh, and out. <clears throat> and uh, now we can call the session for today. Damn. Spooky. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> this isn't good. <laughs> no. I, I have a yeah, crazy gonna... idea. <laughs> oh! Yeah, this pickle. My idea was just sanctuary myself with big AC and, and stuff and just try to draw fire, but Telex is right. This is going to outrun us. Oh, wow. <laughs> Maybe uh, he'll just want to talk. <laughs> uh, how about we dig a tunnel? <laughs> just Shawshank. Dig, dig up, yeah, dig up that dig, staircase. Yeah, we can dig up that staircase. <laughs> I mean... 